10 to 20 years? I love cooking my Nana's special goulash. Me just a hint of hot, spicy spice. And a dash of burnt nose hair. Now to make this a taste test. Nana's golden lady. Still as shiny as it was in the olden days. Awesome! Hot sauce water balloon! Oh, Butt Squad will never see it coming. <laughs> itchy! So very itchy! <sighs> Thanks, Rosebud. I think I'll hold on to these for a while and see how they do in the yeah. bottle area. Are those my stick choppers? Uh, you could use these as chopsticks, but you'd have to eat around the swished fly goo. Good talk! On guard, villain! Or thou shalt feel it, the sting of Excaliburum! Ha! That maketh me pierce my pants not! Behold, Expatulaba! Shoot, yawn fun, be over it. Hmm. Everyone with the stuff borrowing. Next, they'll want to borrow Nana's lucky golden ladle. <gasps> no! Nana's ladle! Where is it? Now, you stealers, make this a coughing up of all my stuff! <laughs> Oh, yes, uh, that's mine. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, <laughs> I should put that on ice. Oh, don't need that. <laughs> yeah. huh? I uh, need those back to cover my uh, bottle area. Wait! Nana's ladle! It's not here! I want Nana's ladle. Give it back, or else I make this a lockdown. <laughs> Locked down? That sounds pretty cool. Oh, so that's what lockdown means. Uh huh. We're missing all the fun. Being in lockdown is the worst. And done. Check it out. A unicorn. Uh, I don't know. I I wanted something more dangerous. I love it. Locked down for a ladle-based crime I didn't commit. Worse, I really need to go number one. Where Rosebud put the John in this joint? Uh, you're not gonna like this. Huh. Oh, man. <laughs> How am I supposed to hold this in for my entire sentence? Mm, you should probably skip lunch, too. Did someone say lunch? Lockdown lunch call. <laughs> Extra greasy. See how nice I treat you, even after you steal Nana's ladle? So, if you don't like the lockdown, all you have to do is return Nana's ladle and the fence will go kaput. Hmm. Okay, then. No freedom for you. Sawyer! No one knows the camp like you! You gotta know a way out! Come on! I can't hold it much longer! Sorry, McGee. Too busy. Ever since Rosebud activated the Lake Bottom Insta Prison Ultra Security feature, my chore list has gone through the prison fence roof. Pardon me, Sawyer, if you don't mind my asking. Why does Lake Bottom even have an Insta Prison Ultra Security feature in the first place? Oh, now that's a long, drawn-out, mildly interesting backstory. I'm glad you asked. It all started when... No time! We gotta break out of here and find that ladle! So I can finally whiz! <laughs> Fun preventing fence, meat, hardest object on Earth. Rosebud's meatloaf. Sayonara, fencerita! Oh, Ooh, smells good. <laughs> That's it. 
Just a little more. Yes! We have scored left off. Gotta get Gretchen's uniform washed before the gruel sets in. Hey, can we all try to keep this place tidy? Sorry, Gretchen, but everyone knows electric eels work best on deep set gruel stage. I've seen enough movies to know I can dig under the fence with just a toothpick. Uh, oh, the movies were never clear about how big the toothpick had to be. Should have used less toothpicks. <laughs> Rosebite, we don't have your ladle. You can't deprive us of precious toilets or keep us stuck under the hot sun for the rest of our lives. Hmm, yeah, good point. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. <laughs> Rosebud's meatloaf? It's causing a cell block riot in my stomach. Quiet in there. We don't have a place to poop, remember? Lights out. <sighs> Prison yard fresh. Sawyer, we've tried everything. We need to get out of here now. And you gotta help us, please. But McGee, I can't possibly think about prison breaks until that filthy sink is taken care of. What? Today was Shoulders Day. Sink taken care of. Come on, campers, let's blow this joint. Uh, quick question. Won't Rosebud totally notice that we're gone? Don't worry about it. I got a guy working on the inside. Oh, good night, McGee. Good night, Grudge. Oh, you're my best pal, Squirt. Oh, yes, and I like you too, McGee. Sounds believable. Uh, I'm too bulked up to fit. Bad evil, bad! Bottom sewers? That must mean we're directly under the lake bottom latrines! Oh, please don't say latrines! Hurry, capers! The latrine could flood these pipes any second! I said please don't say latrines! <laughs> oh, I recognize this. When I had the Insta Prison installed, it came with a jailbreak preventing monster. Oh, <laughs> Sawyer! Why would you do that? That's another long drawn out mile. Still no time! We gotta get out of here. Hey, the coast looks clear. No monsters this way! Pointy! Moist! Oh. Uvula? <laughs> At least I don't have to go number one anymore. Rosebud stuff would save the day and... Dear Rosebud's diary, you'll never believe what I saw today. Oh, look! The moon! Follow me to freedom! Freedom! Yeah, that's some terrible smelling freedom you found here, Gretch. <laughs> Find that ladle. Any ideas? Uh uh. Nada. Nope. Yeah. <gasps> Maybe I tickle you till you tell me where it is. Rosebud, it was just a ladle! Just a ladle? There's nothing like its beauty. Its golden glow, its frizzy hair holding up powers. My Nana can't 
it herself. <clears throat> Remember, I stuck it up there after someone took my hair defrizzing stick choppers. <laughs> I'm sorry for accusing you all. I'm such a silly villain. <laughs> well, at least no harm done. Huh? No, no, I'm McGee. No, I'm Grinch. No, I'm everyone. <laughs> Ah! Dear Mom, remember how you said the early bird gets the worm? And just so you know, I'll be sleeping in from now on. Ah, baking the cookies. <laughs> okay, sure. It's not what anyone expected, but Rosebud's got the sweet tooth. <laughs> What's me to hissing? Oh! <laughs> cookies. Yes, please. They're not ready. The legend of the ancient cookie recipe clearly says, bake for 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Do you know how long that is? <sighs> Fine. I'll wait. There was something I was supposed to be doing. Hmm. I said give it back, you furry bag of acorn stink. Oh, where is Squirt? <laughs> Oh, can I eat them now? Eat some now? But they're still raw? Uh, are you cracked in the skull? <laughs> no! You'll get the worms. They do look pretty juicy. Now, the cookies will be ready for the chow down when this makes me the ding a ling ding. Und ding. Remember, 30 minutes. <sighs> or. thought about it, and we're all for forgiving you for the whole leaving us hanging thing. Right, Gretch? <sighs> there she! Uh, besides, forgiving pals is what us real pals do. And nothing ever comes between us real pals. Nothing will ever come between us. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, I do Dream? Us. And, and just McGee? Us. Repeating words in his sleep again. Us. Ah! 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 My babies! I'll call you Squirt Jr. And, and you'll be Slithery Pete. Oh, and you, Squirt Jr. the second. And you? Shh. There, there. Ah, <sighs> uh, Earth to McGee. There's something different about Squirt today, but I can't quite put my finger on what it could be. Oh, Squirt, are those worms? Please tell me you're going fishing. <laughs> there, there. Uh, 
<gasps> Ixnay on the Ishing Fay? I'm a papa, guys. Wormbrood, meet my best pals. Guys, meet Wormbrood. Congratulations, Papa. Quick, make them do something else. Oh, make them do something? Yes. Uh, Cornelius finds your anti-worm views offensive. My precious babies aren't here to entertain you. Parasitic belly button worms are people, too. Uh, no, they're not. They're worms. Whatever! We are out of here! Come on, guys! Let's slither away angrily! Wait, oh! Oh, but what, was I too hard on them? It's not their fault that they don't get my new worm responsibilities. I'm a family man now. Right, Cornelius? Don't waste another minute on those... those humans, Papa. <sighs> Besides, worms can do much more than mere humans. Please, our Papa, with sustenance. <laughs> what humans were we talking about again? <laughs> hey! That's how me and Squirt share milkshakes. What? Squirt likes backwash. Hey! That's how me and Squirt said we'd ride a worm canoe. You know, if we had a worm canoe. The way me and Squirt. Uh, I no, I got nothing for that one. Open up. Hold on, McGee. Only nine thousand nine hundred ninety-eight of my babies still need to go. Be patient. <laughs> Squirt, I didn't want to bring this up, but you've been spending a lot of time with your worms lately. <sighs> You're right, McGee. No one ever told me how hard it is to be a papa or to toilet train worms. No, they never do, pal. They never do. But hey. If you learned anything today, it's this very important lesson. Dudes before broods. So you're telling me to abandon my babies for you? How selfish! If you'll excuse me, I have some responsibilities to get back to! Oh, good job. Now that's how you use a potty. I hope you're listening, McGee! Ah. This whole brood thing is getting totally out of hand. We have to do something to remind Squirt that he can't choose those worms over us. What setting do you think works better on worm smoothies? Liquify, ooh, disintegrate, <gasps> atomize. Hmm. Yeah, how about we just go and talk to Squirt this time? Fine, but no backwash sharing. Squirt? I'm really sorry about what I said before. So why don't all of us, including the worms, hang out and have some fun together? Sorry, Mickey, but as you can see, the worms need their papa. Oh, come on. These worms look like they need some real fun, huh? Hey, check this out. <laughs> OK, so that wasn't as much fun as wrestling with the mutant chipmunk, but... Cornelius thinks you're incredibly cruel, and your attempts at fun are totally lame. And I agree. Mm. Okay, that's it. Time to blend me up a worm fruit smoothie. Oh. Scaring innocent worm babies, Gretch? I can see McGee doing that, but you? For shame. For shame. Come on, kids. We're leaving. <laughs> oh, wait. Come back, Squirt. Come back. Uh, worms? That's not polite. Stop it! Stop it right now! Don't make me come over there! I'm counting to three! One! Two! Two and a half! Three! Squirt! Remember, dudes before broods! Forever! No, oh, that's it! You're making me come over there now! I think I made a big mistake here. Don't be silly, Papa. Soon all of your worries will depart. Once we feed on your delicious brain, you won't be able to worry again. Phew! I love not worrying. Wait, what? Surely you know worm broods always feed on their Papa. And it is their Papa's duty to be fed upon. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I cannot believe that worked! <laughs> Can't go on. Need Heather to... My wormy cookie dough! Oh, need cookie dough energy to 
bite! Worms! Protect our papa! Hey! That's our papa! We used out of his intestines first! Oh, you so did not! Did too! Double brute stamped it! I'm gonna miss you guys! Sorry about your battling broods. You are right, McGee. Nothing should have ever come between us. Why don't we just pretend today never happened and just start over? <laughs> Squirt, no! <laughs> hmm. ah, nothing like a fresh start. Hey, I wonder if things will turn out any differently. <laughs> Go into this new video game! Just a video game? Wow! Looks like Butt Squat's moving up in your high score battle, McGee. <laughs> He's so squatty. After I nailed the ultimate high score yesterday. Ding, 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 ding. Huh? Huh? <gasps> Extra point bonus. Even higher ultimate high score. Butt Squat. Oh, come on! That's not fair. <laughs> I think I know a way you can even the score. The high score, that is. <laughs> Extreme Zombie Surf Apocalypse 4? Still in perfect condition. I saw it back here the last time I helped Sawyer fix his collapsed ribs. Ooh, ribs! Lips off, squirt. But I love spare ribs. <laughs> okay, it is pretty old school, but I figured if anyone can get the high score on this baby, it's you. Right, McGee? 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I've seen this before. McGee is so focused on getting the high score, he can't even speak <laughs> or control his bodily functions. So that's why my high score alarm went off. Ha! McGee can waste his time on that lame old game, because I own this high score contest. I like so. Ow! Dang it! I gotta get to that lame old game! <laughs> Yeah. You're not gonna out high score me without a fight! No! Oh, my Cowabunga Blast bonus gone! That was my last surfer! Well, I guess it's my turn! <laughs> nuh uh, not without me or not! Game on! Chamomily. Locally sourced, triple steep. Game back on! What? <laughs> no! What are you two doing? No time to talk. Beware. Yes. <laughs> you two have to stop. Some high scores aren't meant to be broken. Oh, great. Power failure. You two must have blown the camp generator. <laughs> ah, that's better. This fur isn't going to set and curl itself. <laughs> that's it. Game over. <laughs> Ribs. Ah, uh, Lake Bottom is way more 
ultra lame than I even thought! I don't think we're in my bottom anymore. Come on, butt squad! We gotta split! Relax, McGee. You just gotta know how to talk to the locals. Like so. Could you direct me to the rich part of the endless grid? <laughs> Oops. My dad will totally pay for that. Don't you see, butt spaz? It's just like the game! <laughs> Is how you do it, Butt Squad. Check it! Double points! In your face, McGee! Triple points! Hey, Butt Squad, I think we should stop zombie smashing for a minute and just reflect on the enormity of actually being inside a video game. Mm. <laughs> Five times ultra bonus point zombie power apple! What? I totally called that zombie power apple first! Like I was gonna let you get the endless grid of doom high score! In your dreams! As if! Oh, seriously? Oh, it won't start! Ugh. We need to get that game running! Ugh. Or who knows what's gonna happen to McGee! But what if McGee never comes back? Who I swap undies with on undie trading day? Who? What are you staring at, Squirt? Nothing, Gretch. You know, we really should get to know each other better. This is Extra Dream Zombie Surf Apocalypse 4. I am 1011101. But you can call me 1011001. I am programmed to protect the high score. All who ch ch challenge the high score are digitized. Now let me introduce our first high score challenger. Sawyer, I did try to warn you, campers. Oh, why do I get the feeling this is kind of my fault? Oh yeah, kind of totally your fault. Anyway, a program is a program. <laughs> Gretch! Gretch! Huh? You say something, Squirt! Now that's more like it. How are we supposed to get to know each other better with all that noise? Squirt, why don't we reconnect after I reconnect the power? Yes! Now it's time for some Squirt Gretch quality reconnecting. <laughs> So, you do or don't want to swap undies, then? Can you make up your mind, Gretch? Your hands will be severed momentarily. While we wait, would you mind telling me what's been happening the last 30 years? Is this still a thing? Radical! Surf's up! <laughs> Kick me right in the butt! Come on! What a beautiful moment! <laughs> hey -ya! Uh -ya! No! Sawyer! Time to use your head! <laughs> Mickey! Hands! Er, uh, heads up! So he can get the all-time zombie hand-catching high score? Uh. What squat? What squat? No! No! <laughs> Just when I was starting to like that guy! <laughs> Emotions, McGee? You'll never get the high score with those things! What squat? But how? Obviously, my mad video game skills scored me an extra life. A duh. <gasps> Surf is up. Hmm. Let's show him a real high score. <laughs> Thanks for the lift, campers. Whoa. Whoa. Take a load off. Stay a while, 
like, uh... Forever! You think you can outscore me? I was programmed to never lose! got the power back on. Oh, the things I go through for my Sasquatch beauty regimen. And let's just say I evened the score with this. Yeah, as far as besties go, Gretchen gets the high score. High score? All who challenge the high score are... She has the new high score? Nah, uh -uh. Not if I can help it. You're my new bestie now, Rib. Such a delicious friend. Hey! Ah, I want it! Ow! <laughs> Dear Mom, I don't mean to freak you out, but things are getting a little hairy over here. Breach! That football is under here, somewhere. I think I got it. <laughs> I don't think that was it. <laughs> I had no idea you were this super crazy strong. <laughs> Whoa, you are kidding! <sighs> the Sasquatch's armpit musk is his pride and joy. Only the squatchiest Sasquatch can make a rabid skunk weep in agony at 20 paces. I can't take it! Namaste. Oh, no, don't go, Armand. You gotta show us more amazed tastic Sasquatch stuff. Oh, rip my arm off. It's okay, I have another one. Some feats of Sasquatchness have to remain secret, campers. If you knew how much human skull crushing power we Sasquatches had, you'd be in big trouble. Well, namaste. <laughs> Uh, pretend you didn't see that. So, here's the plan. We portal to a Sasquatch dimension to meet cool Sasquatches who aren't afraid to show off real skull-crushing power. Okay, we're about to enter the portal. Please keep arms and legs out of the interdimensional aisle. Portal bar uh, next. Just get on with it already. Right. Everyone think Sasquatch. <laughs> Less crushed skulls than I thought. Hey, are you guys sure you all thought Sasquatch? Uh, McGee, is it too late to think nice Sasquatch? <laughs> I, ow! Easy with the giant toothpicks. Ugh. Humans. I thought we got rid of all those. <gasps> Sunny Smiles? Sunny Smiles? No! You dirty Sasquatches! You blew it up before I could? Mm. Ow! Silence! The king approaches. Uh... Yes, it's me, your beloved King Armand. Hey, Armand! Ow! Ow! Would you stop that? We know him! You look like my old campers. Sometimes I wish I never ate them. That McGee stew gave me terrible gas pain. <laughs> I forgot how hilariously terrified you humans could be. In memory of my long digested campers, I, King Armand, hereby decree that these human lookalikes be spared. <laughs> Not eat humans? The king's getting soft. Gods, take my new human slaves to my throne room. Ooh, throne room. Sounds classy. Lonely mermaid, lake bottom dimension. Here comes our No, no, no. See, oh. I don't want to scrub out Sasquatch litter boxes forever. <gasps> 
Was that McGee? What's he doing in the pot? Sasquatch litter boxes. You know, as fabulous as that sounds, something isn't right here. My stars. <laughs> Pardon me, I... Oh, please forgive me, King Armand. Ooh, and you brought chocolates. You know, those weren't exactly for you. I... All hail, King Armand. Oh, King Armand. But well, now this sounds like an interesting dimension. And then the Sasquatch says, Hey, that's not a Sasquatch. That's my wife. Oh, come on. <laughs> Tough crowd. Aw, uh, don't complain. I'm on Squatch for detangling duty next. Guys, it's not that bad. Finally, a place where my foot rubbing skills are appreciated. <laughs> Careful, I tickle easily. What happened to you, Kingy? The Armand I know is a fun loving, happy go lucky. <laughs> I, too, remember how I acted before defeating you humans. <laughs> what a ninny. I was... <laughs> what does a king have to do for more peeled figs? <laughs> oh, now I get the whole King Armand thing. Hmm, interdimensional portal travel is so confusing. Armand, you came to save us! All right, Armand! Ouch. I knew I forgot something. The kids are coming with me. Ah, you think you, uh, me, can waltz in from another dimension and start giving orders? Although I love what you've done with your fur. Oh, you. I mean, me. <laughs> gotcha. Now, I'll let you go if you let us go back to Lake Bottom. What kind of pathetic Sasquatch is a servant to humans! Ugh. I'm more Sasquatch than you could ever Sasquatch! <laughs> then prove it! If I win, I take the campus home! You. When I win, the humans will remain slaves forever! And you will be ritualistically shame-shaved! <laughs> Challenge accepted! To determine who is top Squatch, we will begin the Sasquatch skills of... Yay, King Armand! I am a kingly Squatch, oh, so very manly Squatch. No other Squatch compares. Look at my lovely hair. La 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 I rule this land. Yay, King Armand! That's King! Oh. I am a Squatch, a lovely Squatch. My fur is grand and my feet are large. Me, 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 I, me, me, me. Everyone must adore me. Yay! I have no idea. Armand can sing so beautifully. <laughs> Ooh. Hands off the fine art. Whoa, such realism. Huh? Ah! Daring, provocative, messy, bravo. That's halftime! We Sasquatches love our halftime shows, so this had better be good. <clears throat> uh, glad to be here! <laughs> Can anybody tell me, uh, what is the deal with yetis, huh? I mean, yetis eat humans like this. <laughs> but Sasquatches eat humans like this. <clears throat> Could you please pass the Dijon? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, because it's true. <laughs> Still more Sasquatch than you. Ditto, but reversed. Squirt, you sure this will work? Trust me, if there's one thing I know, it's foot rubbing. Uh... Here are the standings of the Royal Sasquatch Skills Zone. King Amon, yeah. one. 
inferior Armand. One. And now, for our final winner-take-all event, the Moonwalk Race. Do your stuff! <laughs> I have been outsquatched. Other dimension Armand and his pet humans may leave this dimension in safety. Ow, ow. Ow, ow. Thank you, King Armand. You're a Sasquatch among Sasquatches. Come on, campers. Let's go home. Here you go. I also do weddings and Squatch mitzvahs. All right, call me, text, whatever. <laughs> Sasquatch take backsies! Get them! Get them all! Hey, what's the deal? Armand was the squatchiest squatch, fair and square. That's it? The squatchiest Armand! Show these clowns what true squatchiness really smells like! <laughs> no fair! I smell too! Come on! Never smelled such pungent musk before. You are truly the Sasquatch King. All hail Armand! I'll pass, guys. I'm no king. I'm just a Sasquatch who hasn't developed a taste for humans. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Kidding! <laughs> now we can go. Is for amateurs. From now on, I'm all ears. Squirt! Watch out for that mutant squirrel! Hey, Squirt! Can you hear me? I just love pickled ice cream. Squirt! <sighs> <sighs> oh no, Squirt! It's happening again! Slimy indigestion! <laughs> Where are you going, McGee? Hmm, that works too. So you say Squirt can't hear, huh? What? Uh huh. Look at all that earwax. Glove, glove. Oh, uh, what are you doing, son? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've seen this before. A case of earwax so bad. He filled up the ears and seeped into the brain. I also saw a case of toe jam so bad that it brought its own toe peanut butter. Oh, I just love my new drum set. <laughs> I'd better take extreme measures. Don't worry. I almost graduated from earwax removal night school. What? Earwax removal apparatus. Earwax removal apparatus. Now relax and loosen your eardrum. Just my friend's desperate cries for help. What a relief. Lake bottom to squirt. Are you gonna help us get rid of this wax or not? Oh, yeah, 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 sure. How hard can it be to get rid of a giant ball of my own earwax? so we don't smell that stuff anymore. We are out of here. Wait! Are we just gonna leave the wax here? You saw how hard it tried to not be gotten rid of, right? 
I, I think my hearing's going again. I... It's me, Squirt. You ax. You can't toss me out like trash, Squirt. I am part of you. You're right. I'll find a way to get my pals to accept you, Earwax. You're coming back with me. Well, bit by bit, because you're kind of big. Nothing like recovering from a long morning of earwax removal with two lunch specials, Rosebud. <laughs> uh, Rosebud? Hello? Uh, Rosebud? No offense, but you don't look so good. I mean, more than usual. Uh, yeah. Maybe we'll come back for lunch. At dinner time! Sawyer, I don't want to freak you out, but Rosebud is kind of melting. Sawyer? It's happening. The meltdown is happening. We are on Melt Alert 1, people. Hey, guys. So playing Melt Alert again, huh? Hey, I'd love to join in, but uh, I've been super busy with all my earwax sculpting. Oh, right. earwax sculptures. Aren't they so realistic? Perfect likeness. If he was trapped in a vat of face-melting toxic goo. I can keep this up all day long. I know you guys wanted me to leave the earwax, but I found a perfect use for it. Check it out! Our very own Lake Bottom Earwax Museum! Look, guys, it's you! Aren't they so lifelike? You could say, I don't need the real thing anymore. <laughs> yeah, well, it's hard to appreciate art when the stank makes you want to barf. Unless it's barf art. But, or, <gasps> wait for it, toenail art. I found a ton of yours in my pillowcase. One of the downsides of being in the bottom bunk. But anyways, they're all yours. So just go ahead, Squirt. Come on, make me proud. Hi! <laughs> Squirt! What is the deal? I was only trying to be a good pal. If you were a good pal, you never would have made me abandon my earwax. Oh, oh, okay. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll use the toenails and make a sculpture myself. How'd you like that? Huh, Squirt? <sighs> Well, Squirt, how did the statues go over? Are your friends ready to accept Earwax back in the lake bottom? I, I tried to convince them, Earwax, but they just couldn't see the beauty of your earwaxiness. <laughs> Can't they see we belong together? You know, Squirt, there is a way we all can be together forever. I've been looking everywhere for Squirt, and I... Oh, McGee? What do you think, Gretch? Too literal? Too smelly? Huh. Either way, it is so much more awesome than earwax art. This is what you were doing while I've been looking under every rock and every bush for Squirt? Shh, Gretch. Let me sculpt you. Your hair is the exact same black as the gunk you find under your nails. Oh, come on. At least let me clip some of your cuticles. I run out so fast. Mickey, I... Oh, 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 oh. oh. oh good. <laughs> so nice of you to drop in. But um bum ching Oh, it's just not the same. Now, my best friends and my precious earwax will be united together in the ultimate earwax mixture. I'm so... <laughs> oh! <laughs> Squirt, this is nutty. Um, earwax? Is this nutty? Hmm, earwax says it's totally nut-free. So there. Earwax, <laughs> you say such sweet things. <laughs> Okay, Squirt's gone nuts. Aha! Has everyone gone sculpture nutty? Yeah, nutty like a toenail sculpting squirrel. Check this out. Earwax! No! Not the swab! I must say, even though I am covered in melted earwax, I'm so impressed at how you campers release your artistic flair. Thanks. Now, how about I release you? No, wait. <laughs> oh, look what you've done to poor earwax. He's half the ball of earwax he used to be. <laughs> no! I've heard of Vax build up, but this is ridiculous!
ridiculous! Hold these! Time to nail it in! Really, Minnie? How can you nail sculpt at a time like this? I do my best work with Pants Wedding Terror as my inspiration. Well, are you all ready to become part of the Earwax Collective? Sure, Squirt, why not? Hey, I even made you an earwaxing warming gift. I call it McGee and Squirt, when Squirt isn't trying to melt McGee. Okay, the title needs work, but isn't it beautiful? <laughs> yeah, McGee, it's, it's breath-tokingly beautiful. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, yeah, okay, <laughs> totally got it. <laughs> you sure did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know some puns, too. Isn't my wax interesting? <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm in the toenails now. Squirt! Watch out! Squirt! No! We'll save you! Ew! Most disgusting rescue ever! <laughs> Squirt! Are you okay, old pal? What? Oh, come on! I can't go through all that again. Oh. Hello. What's this doing in here? Ugh. Oh, so that's where that went. So it wasn't the wax taking control over your brain. It was this toilet brush poking your cortex. That makes sense. What's a cortex? Bada boom, ching. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I can't remember what anything is. I know why the saying isn't, redheads have more fun! Awesome! Cool! Spinny! Ugh. Ooh, nice gadget, Sawyer. Who knew you were a comet-tracking zombie? Oh, I've been studying the sky for years. Comets, meteors, weather patterns, bird droppings. <laughs> Vertical fart cone. Very rare. <laughs> I've studied lots of bird droppings, but never actual birds dropping. <laughs> I hope the comet didn't have anything to do with that. You're the expert. Aren't regular comets only visible at night? I never have seen a daytime comet before, Gretch, but I'm sure it's totally normal. Uh, uh, who's to say what's normal anyway? Forget everything I said. Ah! McGee! Your face! Oh, Gretch, your hair! I'm trying to watch Squirt! Your voice! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Why do we all look and sound like Butt Squad? Who cares? We gotta make it stop! <laughs> it's an improvement. Uh, butt Squad, is that you? Oh, sorry. I thought you were Butt Squad. A little squid ink should do the trick. Gotcha! Don't do this! <laughs> that was supposed to be lunch! Oh, sorry, Rosebud. <laughs> Not you too! Not me too, what? <laughs> no! No! <laughs> 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 Ah, ah, oh, that's much better. Campus, there you are. I have to show you the strange readings, my ears. Yeah, yeah, while you're tracking weather, we've been trying to get rid of all this butt squattiness. Uh, hey, how come you're not all squatty? <laughs> I guess there is an upside to being a rotting corpse. Listen, I tracked that comet all day. I don't think it's a comet at all. <laughs> Even my boogers are butt squatified! Guys, focus? Go on, Sawyer. 
Finish what you were explaining. Uh, thanks. I'm tracking another weather phenomenon with my scientific devices. I think it can reverse the yeah, effect. Yeah, yeah. When did science help anyone? Butt Squad, what's going on? Why do we all look like you? Why? Silence. All will be explained, as I am the only one who can cure you. Welcome to my state-of-the-art Team Butt Squatifying facility. Here is where I, Jordan Butt Squad, will help Team Butt Squatify you. Because I'm cool like that. Yeah. You help us? Ha! Doubtful. Don't give in to your fears and mistrust, Gretch. They're symptoms of the Butt Squatifying Comet. <laughs> Here in the Debut Squatifying Lab, we Butt Squatifiers work hard to Debut Squatify the victims of the Butt Squatifying Comet, which reappears every 10 butt years. How do you think I ended up like this? Sure, it's too late for me, but I won't let others suffer, not even bottom smellers. Oh, Butt Squad, that's so. <gasps> Wedgie! <gasps> oh, no! What have I become? Me. That's who. <laughs> ah, better. Here, in the Deep Mud Squatifying Lab, you will learn to not be like me by someone who knows me best. Me. That's really important. <laughs> wow, total squatty move, Gretch. Whoa, you win, Butt Squat. Do what it takes to Deep Butt Squatify us and hurry. Oh, I will. I definitely will. <laughs> why am I buffing Butt Squat's toenails? Do not ask why you're buffing Butt Squat's toenails, Gretch. Ask how many more of Butt Squat's toenails you get to buff. Buffing Butt Squat's toenails is an honor. If that's an honor, I want in! <laughs> uh, give it back! Uh, yes, I see now. This is an honor. Yes, now feel the butt squat. Be the butt squat. Smell the butt. Ooh, here comes my favorite part. <laughs> no! No, Wet Walters! They're so <laughs> McGee! And if you want to truly be butt washed, you must rid yourself of all things McGee forever. <laughs> butt Squad present! Butt Gee! Butt Squad! And Gret Squad! Reporting for Butt Duty! Sir! <laughs> the butt washing is complete! I've created my own butt squad. Ha! I can't believe my butt squadifying satellite actually worked. Butt squadifying satellite version 1.0. Warranty expiring right now. <laughs> butt squad, move out and repair that uh, classified object. Stat. Yes, yes butt, butt sir. sir. That strange weather pattern should be rolling in any time now. <laughs> Um, uh, that isn't a comet. I sense something squatty. Classified object located, Bot Squad! Commence repair stat! Bye bye, classified object! But, Silent, it is now time to put my butt plan into action. The cadiddles have been at Sunny Smiles all day. When are they coming back with a cure for all the buttons? Is this part of the cure? Phase one of butt plan complete. Staff subdued and ready for butt washing regimen. Hey, where's Sawyer? I don't worry about him. He's busy tracking comets and slight breezes. Then it's time for butt plan phase two. Sunny Smilify Lake Bottom. Activate the Sunny Smilander. <laughs> Your diabolical plan is over! As the weather pattern I've been tracking should be arriving... Now. Oh, this weather pattern... 
scattered freaks. It's made of the collective stomach gases of a million tiny woodland creatures. Mm. That smells familiar. It's called the El Maguinha. Wait a sec. Nonbuts Squad McGee was named after a giant fart wind? The El Maguinha is a pleasant yet stinky wind when it's boosted. It can blow anything away. Uh, what a stinky relief. Rich, we're almost deep on Squadified. The sunny Smilander. We have to deactivate it before before I get to it. Layboids. No, the Butt Squad is too strong and squirt. Even the El Maquina can't blow it loose. That's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> was a little McGee spit. <laughs> hey, butt squirt! Have a nice treat! <laughs> oh! I bean McGee! I squirt again! I squirt again! Thank you. After everything, I butt squatted for you. And this is how you thank me. Typical bottom smellers. Hey, butt squat. Smell this. Ew, what stinks? <laughs> Sorry, McGee. I, I don't think I'm totally deep butt squatified yet. that naval battles weren't about historical belly button fights? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Nasty mateys! Another assorted overused pirate cliches! On guard! <laughs> shiver me timbers! I'm shivering! Timber me shiver! And then the poop to hop! Whoa, 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 whoa. Booty, my booty fell right on top of. Huh? <laughs> oh, look! Novelty punch glasses. Love these. Oh, perfect for our swap soda, see? Uh, yeah. Squirt can have my share. Hey, where is Squirt anyway? I don't know. I did tell him to meet us here right after he helped Rosebud dethaw the old meat freezer. Oh, I wish I hadn't waited a whole ice age to dethaw this bad boy. <laughs> and Phil Squirt, I promised him all the hoops. Oh. How's I supposed to know Rosebud's woolly mammoth burgers are past their due date? Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> ah! Ah, oh, occupy! <laughs> Can we head back? Uh, kinda seasick here. Oh, I'm sorry, well, what, what did you say, Greg? Gork? Are those new pirate words or something? Looks like smooth sailing ahead. Oh, I got a squirk on my landings. Squant, what are you doing here? No time for recaps. Quack, where the squack is squirt? The last time I saw him, he was wearing his extra elasticized waistband shorts. So he's eating or stuffing things in his pants, either one, you know, possibly both. That's good. Maybe it'll buy us some time to figure out what we do next. Uh, next about 
What? <sighs> About that? Venusian. I'll squactivate my galactic translator. Give, up, uh, give us the one you call. Squirt. Woo! <laughs> so long, Mammoth Burgers. <laughs> no! Look at all the excitement I've been missing. The Bookeronias are blooming. Oh, how thrilling! No more fooling. Give us Squirt. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it just squipped out. Oh, it makes the leftover barf taste even more disgusting. I just don't get it. What do aliens want with squirt? I don't know. I came here to squirn you. Okay, so what do we do now? I... <laughs> Pay attention! We'll not use our laser blasts for our own amusement! Give us squirt! Immediately. Less thousands of violent movies have steered me wrong, and I'm sure they haven't. I know just the thing to get us out of this mess. An old-fashioned naval battle! Hey, must, ye aliens! Eat cannonball! <laughs> hey, McGee. We were just talking about you, so what's new? I know. Painful indigestion. Oh, you know, the usual. Oh, hey, cool cannon. Thanks. I... Oh! Oh, oh no. You're making this too easy for us. <laughs> Wait, how'd you get past the alien energy dome? Alien energy dome in the what now? In the shatter! Time for you to be deatomized! Wait, wait, wait! Squirt sensors detecting squirt! Nuh-uh! We detected him first! A cannonball! For reals this time! Fifteen seconds until annihilation! Oh, and we still want square. That hasn't changed! Fifteen. Yeah! <laughs> Full speed ahead! Fourteen! <laughs> Squat, quick! Make with the alien chest thingy juice! We gotta get that sail down right now! Twelve! <laughs> Squarry, I'm all tapped, Squout. I wish I was still in that latrine. Oh, oh, oh. Speaking of which. <laughs> now that's precision! We'll grow weary of this foolishness. Give us squirt, or we get nasty. Crispy human skin level nasty. Uh, all this yachting has made me so parched. Hydration. Is everyone okay? Help! I'm too rich to float! All right, then. Everyone's okay. Alas, ye scurvy aliens! Captain McGee's about to take this naval battle up a notch! Yeah! <laughs> I, ow, 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 ow! Too many notches! Oh, my indigestion! We gotta lose some weight if we wanna outrun those aliens. 
Toss something heavy overboard! <laughs> There's a suggestion. Good. Uh, those bottom smellers are gonna pay for this! Heartfelt treasure chest! Hooray! Uh, oh, no! They've unleashed the much bigger laser! It's grounds much more impressive in Venusia. Uh, guys, yeah, a uh, quick naval battle question. Do we really need sails to sail? Enough of this thrilling chase! We demand immediate handover of the Squirt, or we will destroy your wilderness fun-time installation! No, stop! I'll do as you ask! <laughs> oh, aliens, why have you chosen me? Why am I so important that you're willing to destroy Lake Bottom? What do I have? That's so... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, that's the stuff. Gimme. Gimme. Hey, I'm not done. <laughs> For in this life, are we all not aliens? Somehow, can't we all live in peace and harmony? Of course, that's it. Squirt's indigestion. The alien ship must have mistaken it for the squultimate power in the universe. Ultimate power in the universe? That does sound familiar. Uh, Squirt, that never happened. Well, it should have. Give us the ultimate power now! Or say Snorblark to your planet! Squirt, you must let loose your ultimate power and destroy that ship! It's the only sway! Okay, everyone, plug your noses. This one's gonna be a doozy! Uh-huh. Lake Bottom's not going down without a fart. A, a, a fight. A, wait, I was right the first time. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> it's true. The ultimate power is no more. Perhaps now that the ultimate power is gone, our two races can become friends, ushering in a... Ring. Oh, oh, hydration! Uh, meh, but squads can't be choosers! Give us the one you call Fuck Squats! <laughs> <laughs> Sooner, but things are a little bit nuts here lately. Well done, Monk Tenant. Proceed with mission. Seek out any other chipmunks in this portal's dimension. Beware of humans and try to blend in. Good luck, and may the monk be with you. Mm. So barbaric. Perhaps our fears were misplaced. Perhaps humans aren't so bad. <laughs> <laughs> this fluffy cheeked and bushy tailed chipmunk is just perfect for my special gumbo recipe. <gasps> Trust me, you won't feel a thing, <laughs> except maybe a cold chill. <laughs> And now we do this the hard way. You can run, but you can't hide your hide. <laughs> okay, let's start the pre-flight safety check. Flimsy and highly unstable cardboard wings. Check. Easily distracted birds that will fly off at the first sign of danger. Check. Chirp, chirp. <laughs> That's it, Squirt! We're doing it! But we need more flap. More flap! Yes! I've harnessed the power of bird! Red, you gotta try! 
try this! No thanks! I remember how bad it all went after you harnessed the power of dung beetle? Yeah, ew! Oh, Squirt the McGee! We got a situation up here! Engines one through six are experiencing major exhaust oh. trouble! <laughs> That's why I prefer the poop splash free zone. I'm much safer over here. Chipmunk <laughs> 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 ah! <Trip of> danger! <laughs> Wait! I sense a disturbance in the forest. <laughs> get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! A false alarm? <laughs> 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 Your fur is delicious. It's much for dinner. There, there, Gretch. The little guy's long gone. <gasps> the disturbance in the forest. It's back. Coming from over there. Now hold still, or this will get really messy. No! For shame! Chopping chipmunks! But campus, all I want is its food! Fat, juicy chipmunk rump meat, uh, yeah, we know, Rosebud. We know. All creatures of the forest are precious, and that includes their rump meat. I won't let you hurt Mr. Cheeks, and yes, that's what I'm calling him. How would you like it if chipmunks hunted you? Huh, Rosebud? Huh? Ch -ch 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 chipmunks? Hunting us? <laughs> 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 into the whole other dimension thingy. I don't know, but something about this place is making me feel weird. You haven't felt anything yet. Guards! Seize the humans! <laughs> oh, look at the little ninja chipmunks. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> Ow! You'd see Pooh talk is strictly forbidden in Monk Bottom. But if there's no cutesy poo talk, how do you talk to your chipmunk babies? Come on. With dignity and respect and brutal honesty. Of course, of course. Talking chipmunks, I mean, this is just a dream. Because if it wasn't, could I do this? <laughs> no one kisses a chipmunk in Monk Bottom. Get them! Hey! I never wanted to hurt the chipmunks. All I ever wanted was sweet succulent keister kebab. Yeah, we know, Rosebud. We know. Okay, coast is clear. Let's head back and figure out a way to rescue Gretch. <laughs> Wow, oh, McGee's anti-chipmunk rabbit dog call trick actually worked. Gotta love dreams. <laughs> wow, that laser thing is much more effective. You were willing to sacrifice your tiny organs for me? Maybe I was wrong about you disgusting little creatures. Wow, I mean, this dream is so realistic. I can even taste the spit. Well, it's kind of acorny. <laughs> All right, you disgusting little furball. You're welcome. And ow! Watch it! Your little claws are all pinchy and they're... Pinchy? Oh, I'm awake! Oh, 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 oh! Come on, Squirt! Can't you spot a chipmunk-built human trap? We gotta stay on our game if we're gonna outsmart these chipmunks. All right, game time! Oh, I regret nothing. What are you going to do to her? This human will stand trial for crimes against chipmanity. Effective immediately. A trial? That's it? Well, of course it is. We are civilized chipmunks. You stand accused of attempted chipmunk devouring. 
If found guilty, you will be sentenced to our most extreme punishment. Yay! Chipmunks of the jury, my client is not guilty. She never technically ate a chipmunk. Sure, she thought about it. I mean, a lot. My fellow chipmunks, how can we believe anything this human says when he treats animals like this? <gasps> it's leaving our feathered friends for human amusement? For shame! <laughs> Sorry, Rosebud. I'm all out of the ideas I got from watching three minutes of that lawyer TV show. I'm sorry. <laughs> order, order. You're all out of order. <laughs> yeah, I always wanted to say that. Okay, go on, little buddy. Tell him how we shared a moment and how our two species can live together in peace and you know, all that garbage. Based on this new evidence, I find the defendant not guilty. Is what I would say if the jury wasn't so hungry for punishment. In other words, guilty! Yay! <sighs> I hate chipmunks. No! Don't punish me! I'm innocent, I tell you! <gasps> My family cookbook! Chipmunk fur gumbo? She never wanted to eat us after all? How is this recipe different than the delicious human hair stew we all enjoy? Have you all forgotten everything our four monks taught us about chipmunk mercy? For well, shame! You're right! Release the humans! <sighs> Honey poo's all around! No, that is still forbidden! Uh, what's that? You cannot hug the squishy human. And go change your diaper. That stink. Wow, that was brutally honest. Oh, I knew this lucky rabbit foot would come in handy. A rabbit foot? You cost one of our furry rodent brethren his limb. Get them again. Okay. <laughs> Let's kick some furry butt. <laughs> without barfing in fear. Sorry. Ah. Sorry. Ah. Ah. Sorry. Bring it, Mr. Cheeks! Stop calling me that! My true name is Fuzz Wizzikin! Right, Fuzz Pants, you asked for it! Chipmunk Zero! Humans? A whole lot. And the best part? I'm not afraid of chipmunks and Enough! Spoke too soon. For the crimes against chipmunk manatee, you all shall now suffer the ultimate punishment of shame shaving! Oh! Well, a uh, human hair stew does sound delicious. Am I right? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Dear Mom, I'm really making a mark with my new look. A skin mark. Hey, guys. So, what's for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> what? What's so funny? No! The ultimate horror! Showing up in the mess hall in only undies! I... Uh, hey! The ultimate horror is actually pretty comfy! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! To the right, to the left, and down to... I could took it up again! Uh. All right, McGee! To the butt, and I put my buns and down to... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah! Woo-hoo! I've never felt so free and airy! Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Happens to me all the time. Hurry up and get dressed, McGee. Armand's waiting for us. <laughs> My awesome undies only dream was just a dream? Figures. I, unless... <laughs> Wait! 
if the undies only part of my dream is coming true, what about... Ah, uh, I knew rainbow butt propulsion was too good to be true. Ah, doesn't matter, because from now on, McGee is rocking only undies. <laughs> Remember, campers, dancing isn't pretty if your booty isn't sweaty. Here we go, here we go, 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 and a uh, two, uh, 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 all the way down to the mustard stain. Oh, man, this is a new McGee low. Oh, lighten up, Gretch, didn't you know? Undies only is so hot right now. But, McGee, you, your butt might catch a cold. Or the butt flu. <gasps> the butt flu, McGee! The butt flu! It came to me in a dream, Squirt, and it changed my life. I've never felt so free and airy. Well, you sold me. Now, the only question is, which pair should I only wear first? What do you think? Oh, yes. Definitely the smiling face pair. They're so happy. This is going to turn pandemic. we got to get clothes on the heat. Stat! Well, the clothes! No, 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 no! no. Uh, oh, formal undies. Guys, I always wanted a surprise party and just recently wanted an undies only surprise party. Undies only conga, undies only conga. I'm so free and. It's okay, Squirt. It's for McGee's own good. Once he sees other people's reactions to his undies only madness, he'll see the light. Undies only conga. What's going on out here? <gasps> oh, McGee's in his undies, everyone. <laughs> Isn't that so totally like him to keep this whole undies only thing to himself? Not gonna happen. Undies only is so hot right now. I knew it'd be free and airy, but I never imagined it'd be this free and airy. Undies only for everyone! Undies only conga! Undies only conga! Wait, I got it, Gretch. What if we just hide McGee's undies? Yeah, just think about that for a sec. Ah! Oh, I'll never get that visual out of my head! Right. But maybe there is a way to get into McGee's head. So, you need a way to get into McGee's head, huh? I got just the thing. Uh, it's in here somewhere. Aha! My dream entering armception device. How exciting! What's it do? This baby will get you into McGee's dreamland. It's perfectly safe. Um, that is, unless you get hurt in there. If that happens, you get hurt for real. It doesn't sound perfectly safe to me. Let's do this. I'll have you campers in McGee's dream in a jiffy. Ew! Let's get this scheme over with already. If I don't get out of here soon, I will never get the lake bottom stank out of my hair. Do we really have to bring Susie along, Gretch? She terrifies me. I don't want her here either, but no one knows McGee better. Besides, we all want the same thing. Get in, get close on McGee, and get out. And no lollygagging. One more thing. Don't let him know he's dreaming, or it breaks the whole quantum dream continuum thingy, and you'll be stuck in there forever. Got it. Okay. Be safe, campers. Wait, forever what? <gasps> wow! McGee's Dreamland, where all the dream undies go to dream. Clothes? You don't need clothes in Undies Only Land. That's what Senor Waste Bandamundo always says. Ew! McGee's Dreamland is gross. Can we just go? Shh, we've got to stick to the plan. The Thrice Daily Undies Parade is starting. <laughs> I'm so excited. An undies only day? No. Uh, 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 uh. Let Senor Waste Mendemundo take care of that. Undies cannon style! Oh, out of my way! I love free giveaways. McGee, you gotta get dressed! Wearing only undies is making everyone's life miserable! Uh, 
Scratch. Around here, everyone calls me Senor Wastebandamundo. I am not calling you Senor Wastebandamundo. Now listen to me. Sorry, Scratch. I'm just in my ears. I can't hear you. Now let's party. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Gretchen. This plan has become a total nightmare! Nightmare? That's it, Susie! The only way to stop this dream is to turn it into a terrifying anti undies nightmare! If we make Mickey fear his undies, he'll never want to wear only them again! Gretch, you had me a terrifying anti undies nightmare. Let's do it! Okay. Ooh, an undies only rainbow, Gretch? Oh, I can't wait to see it. Just a few more steps. I promise you won't believe your eyes. Oh, a swan underwear. Oh, everything is so beautiful here. Oh, you should see it when the begonias bloom. Hundy-tastic. <sighs> oh, I wish I could see that. <sighs> Look at me! I'm a big undia. <gasps> Wit, green messing around, squirt. <sighs> You keep shape-shifting, McGee will figure out this is all a dream and we'll be stuck here forever. <laughs> oh, 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 McGee, meet Susie Zilla! Uh, the name is Senor Wastebanda Mundo. <laughs> oh, no! Wonderwear! Susie Zilla? You're transforming too? Seriously? Look at me! I'm a banana! <laughs> this is not what we agreed on. My transform into a nightmare Susie dragon plan just felt better. <gasps> no! Not the undies! <laughs> <laughs> yep, Susie terrifies me! Oh, I wish I was in one of my undies only parades right now. Hey, undies boy, we are not to blame. These are to blame. Why? Ah! Ah! Break the cozy hold these have on you, McGee, by defeating Susie. Defeat her? And just these? Yeah, I've got an idea about that. <laughs> oh, I, I don't mind loaning McGee my clothes. I don't. But I do wish she didn't dream about itchy bottom ivy so much. It's just so itchy on my bottom. Ah! Susie Silla! You can burn our undies, but we'll just make new, better, stretchier undies. For there is nothing to undie but undie itself. Mickey! Forget about your undies and go! Gotcha. Oh, I love being a Susie Silla. Susie Silla. <laughs> we weren't supposed to get hurt, remember? No! You can roast my undies, but not my friends! <laughs> <laughs> You're tickling! <laughs> Gotta get Susie Zilla to stop! But how? How? Oh, save us, great warrior! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Inhale, undies! <laughs> undies are the worst nightmare! <laughs> Size diapers in your next scare package, Kay? Ah! All right, you asked for it. I'm gonna slice that smile right out of your face. <laughs> ah, that's better. It's back. Summerween, the monster's favorite camp activity. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no, a ghost. I'm scared. I hope so very much I do not wet my pants. Well, at, at least we got candy. Don't say candy. Did some fun say candy? Huh? <laughs> 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 
Hmm. Bug Slightly less dangerous than the leech licorice. You'd better get started on your canoe trip, campers. Yeah, and don't worry. Nothing terrifying will be waiting for you when you get back. <laughs> Guys, we know you're making us a haunted house. We know it's not going to be scary. We know Sawyer's going to use way too much glue. Hmm. A lot you know, McGee. These are staples. Okay, you got us. We are building you camp as a haunted house. But this year, we got some scary help. Gluteus Crouch, scare consultant. Does haunted bar mitzvahs and possessed weddings. A scare consultant? La aim. Huh. Maybe he has some potential. I... <clears throat> Good luck, guys. Have a safe trip. Be back once the moon is up. Oh, totally. <laughs> Who'd have thought three actual monsters would be so bad at summer wing? <laughs> I mean, zero scare factor. <laughs> Squirt, look out! Oh, hey, Leggy. I got you those spare flies you asked for. <clears throat> These are monsters that know vampires. Why can't they invite them for summer wing? Then maybe we'd truly be scared for once. <laughs> Scare consultant will actually make this Summerween haunted house scary. <laughs> Not likely, Gretch. It takes a lot to scare us. <sighs> but then again, <laughs> it's about time to head back anyway. <laughs> okay, guys. Now prepare your pretend horrified faces. Wow, not bad. <gasps> Step right up to the House of Horrors! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The scare consultant is totally legit! Enter! And have a wonderfully horrifying time! Yes! Oh. Wait, how do we get in? <laughs> wow, if I didn't know this was going to be an interactive ride, I'd have worn my hip waders. Because <laughs> they're hip. Welcome! to the Gluteus Couch House of Horrors. Oh, I get it. The old haunted mansion bit. And you must be one of the ghostly servants. Okay. Watch your step, kidlets. It's dark and dangerous. No worries. I always carry a flashlight. No! Whatever you do, don't turn it on! Attention! Altering the House of Horrors lighting is strictly forbidden. Sorry. Could you just... You have to get out. Listen to me. Get out while you still can. <laughs> wow, Rosebud. You're getting good at this. Okay, go on. Act all scared again. No, no, no. It's not what you... Attention! Activating emergency attraction recall due to unscripted lines. <laughs> Have a wonderfully horrifying day. Oh, whoa. This consultant is a total perfectionist. Uh, yeah? This is creepy. Come on, let's see what's next. You think there's an elevator in this place? Welcome to the next level. Going up. <laughs> this is still the best summer weed haunted house ever. <laughs> I was starting to get so lonely. Now we can all hang out here forever. <laughs> no thanks! Got a jet! <laughs> Step right up and feast your eyes on the horrifying bus monster. Campers, get me out! I know I don't have to tell you this, but bus tastes simply terrible! We'll get you out. Ah, uh, uh, uh. That's a no-no, kids. Touching the exhibits is strictly forbidden. Uh-oh. Going down. <laughs> Anyone else think that was way grosser than usual? Campers, there you are. This isn't the haunted house we wanted to make. It's that horrible consultant we'd hired. He's evil! You have to get us out! Well, finish what you were saying, Sawyer. We have to get you what? Ah! Huh? Ah, life 
jackets? <laughs> I feel safer already. Hey, this is a nice change of pace. You know, from all the stank and horror. <laughs> Help! Oh, hey, Miguel, what's up? We're captured in House of Horrors. Get fishy smelling kids of Bottom Lake survive? <gasps> Find out at the Gluteus Grouch House of Horrors! <laughs> Number one break. These tracks look so familiar. Wonder if they have something to do with. Who in their right mind would use money as paper towels? Only someone rich enough to wipe his hands on money could afford to build all this. But who's that rich? Hmm. You know, it feels like we're missing something. Something important. Uh. Guys, little help here! Oh. Ah. 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 Hey, I, you may not have hands, but you should still soap up! Consultant won't find us in here. <laughs> One question. What's that noise? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was afraid of that. Prepare to be terrified. Monster on Monster Battle of the Century, only at the Lake Bottom House of Horrors! Got some scary help. Gluteus Crouch, Scare Consultant. <laughs> house of Horrors. This is still the best summer we haunted house ever. No, save yourself. 
yourself! Will you be his next horror attraction? No! No! no. <laughs> Dear Mom! <laughs> Does anyone else feel like they've been screaming forever? All I feel is the need to get out of this insane house of horrors! Let me go! Huh? He's watching all of our moves. Just act like yourselves, get it? Look at me! I'm Gretchen! Look at me! I'm the brave and charming, armpit musically talented McGee! Oopa. <laughs> la 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 la. Come on, Squirt, it's your turn! I am Squirt, and I have the ultimate power in the universe! <gasps> <laughs> Intestinal fumes detected. Quick! We gotta get out of here and free the monsters from this place! Follow me! <laughs> Wait, the doorknob isn't real! <sighs> How do we get out now? <laughs> that was convenient, I'll say. Do you guys hear that? Mutant moles? Hey, little buddy. Big fan of your tunnel work. I think they're saying that we need to dance the okie koki. <laughs> or maybe that we are in extreme danger. It's kind of hard to make out the dialect. Squirt, ask them if they know their way around and if they know how to find the master of this horrible house. Again with the dancing? We haven't got time. We're on a mission. That dancing looks very lamely familiar. I think they're trying to tell us something. <gasps> Is it supposed to be Gluteus Crouch? <laughs> what are they saying now? He says anyone who escapes from the House of Horror habitat never stays free for long. He also says, hold on to your lunches. I don't get that part. <gasps> oh, beast worst. <laughs> I bet it would probably taste great with mustard. This is no time to eat. We are on a mission here. Hey, where'd the moles go? <laughs> so delicious. Tastes kind of moly. No, oh, I think we know where the moles went. Poor mm, delicious mutant moles. Oh, I said this is no time. Camber Habitat escapees detected in restricted food prep area. Release monster protection protocol! Ah! Trapped again? This is both of your faults. Uh, uh, technically, it's Squirt's stomach's fault. I did not actually eat the beast worst. Look, I can't help it! If I eat when I'm nervous! <laughs> Squirt, wait! wait! Oh, see, see what, what you, you did? did? Come on! <laughs> Oh, I shouldn't have eaten so many mole cookies. <laughs> Whoa, easy on the fart quake, Squirt. Yeah, I'm better off alone. <laughs> Way to go, Mick, your fault. Uh, Mick, my fault? Yes, totally. Uh, Mick, your fault. Uh, Ow, no way. I'm not the one with the ultimate Mick fart quake power over here. Right, like you've never farted. <laughs> 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 I never said that, little Miss Cheddar Shredder. You made me do it, Mick. Your fault. <gasps> Can we stop blaming each other for a moment? And huh? What does this do? Oh, evil scheme, Overlord Mega Control Chair. Yes, <gasps> with exclusive back massage option. Oh. Okay, focus. We gotta find Squirt and figure out a way to stop Gluteus Crouch. Remember? I can't help it. I'm really good at pushing buttons. <gasps> like Inky Gloomy! The last one in is a rotten! Oh, fell for the old mega maniacal man cave big screen TV. Do you know what this means? This has got to be the main control room to this place. You're right, Gretch. One of these cameras have got to be a live feed to show us where Squirt went and maybe find Gluteus. Where is he? And who is he? Of course! 
tracks. The money, the lame dancing, even the name. Crouch is another word for squat. Gluteus is a fancy way of saying... Bottom smellers! Dun, dun, dun! Butt squat! So, you figured it out, huh? Well, what gave me away? The high-tech genius of my terrifying house of horrors? Let's see. Well, between all the obvious clues, I'd say it would definitely be the lame dancing that gave you away the most. Never mind that! What have you done with our counselors? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> now my mind-controlled House of Horror slaves, get those bottom smellers! No! Not them! You're not going to ruin my House of Horror's bottom smellers. Not after I created a whole new identity and had cards printed. <laughs> <gasps> Failure to obey will not be tolerated. Ah! Sawyer, snap out of it! <laughs> oh, Sawyer! I'm so, so sorry! <laughs> Why? I'm gonna make millions on this haunted house! Well, more millions. <laughs> Kids everywhere are gonna want to see the scariest, most pee in your fanciest house of horrors ever. McGee, a little help <laughs> on it. <laughs> Good job on the button pushing. Thanks. Now let's find Squirt. <laughs> Squirt, you're back. All right. Good to see you, pal. Hey guys, what did I miss? I'll tell you what you won't want to miss: the House of Horrors grand finale. <laughs> Disgusting on so many levels. But Squad, wait. I've seen you do some really creepy things this summer, but this is too creepy for even you. Please, please just let us go. Sorry, McGee, but I just can't not use a remote control that I paid for. You understand. Ah! Cream of washroom soup. This is the number one worst predicament I have ever been in. I can't keep up! <laughs> Come on, Squirt! You can do it! Run like you did in the Rhino Chicken race! Right! Here goes! Oh, oh, oh. Yes! Run, Rhino Chicken! Run! <laughs> Woohoo! I'm number one! <laughs> Squirt, wait! We gotta stay together! Together? Great idea! Incoming! <laughs> I can't live in a world where just me and Butt Squad are the last one standing. That'd make us friends or something. Oh, what's the point of hanging on? Friends? Me and McGee? Friends? Give me your hand! I've been doing butt squats. McGee, you saw right through me, buddy. All of my mean tricks, all my evil schemes were my way of saying how badly I wanted to be friends. No, 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 no. See, that's not what I meant. We're not friends, butt squad. We are not. Oh, oh good one, McGee. Let me try. <laughs> Hey! We can get out this way! Come on! Toot with me! <laughs> oh, McGee! I know we're gonna be the best toot buds! No, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, huh? Huh? The House of Horrors was just a horrible nightmare? And I'm not Butt Squatch's best bud? 
Oh, oh, everything is totally back to normal again. Oh, wow, squirt. Yeah, everything is back to normal. It's all fun and games at Camp Lake Bottom, but really, it's not. <laughs> How could this have happened? Oh, McGee, you know you shouldn't have stayed out in the toxic rain. <gasps> ow, 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 ow! Later, guys! I'm gonna keep playing. <laughs> ow. It's super fun! Ow, 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 ow! ow. Gross you look, I'm not even gonna say I told you so. Hey, you're saying I told you so in Gretch I blink code. Hmm. I'm gonna call for a do-over. Hold on, Squirt! You know what? I think I'm feeling better. That's <laughs> uh, I think you need a second opinion. Hmm, the toxic sniffles, huh, McGee? You should take long rests, drink lots of liquids, and stay away from unstable nuclear devices. But, Sawyer, I already feel much better. I... Ah! <laughs> toxic snot! It's all over my fur! Get it off! Get it off! Look away, campers. Look away. Stupid toxic nasal infection. I wonder if the catfish are jumping. Huh? Ah! Get off, you catfish! Ah! Oh, I must be sick. Now I'm seeing things. Ah! Get off, you catfish! Ah! <gasps> Could it be? Is it possible? Ah! <clears throat> Am I snot till the future? Sit ah! off, you catfish! I. <laughs> Hold on a sec. This is just like my snot vision! <laughs> oh, hello? McGee's future telling snot line? How can I sneeze your future today? I. Uh huh. Uh, oh, really? I, oh, hold, please. <laughs> According to my mucus, you will fall off of a large cliff sometime soon. Okay? You bet. Thanks for calling. <gasps> what in the name of the zombie apocalypse is going on in here? Hey, Sawyer! I set up my own psychic snot line. <laughs> I'm gonna be famous. Oh, wait, hold on. Hello? McGee's future telling snot line. How can I sneeze your future to... Hey! You can snot to tell the future? How could you be so careless, McGee? <laughs> no! Not my precious snot line! Sawyer, what are you doing? You can't use boogers to see into the future, McGee. If you mess with time that disgustingly, <sighs> it'll fight back. And how? The future fighting back. Sawyer! That makes no sense! <laughs> there, see? Gretchen Squirt sharing the latrine. Kind of weird, but totally harmless. I mean, maybe they're trying to save toilet paper or something, huh? Oh! Guys, no! What happens to them? What happens to them? The future does not like to be grossed out, McGee. And there's not much grosser than snot. We're just lucky that your butt didn't get a future-telling toxic infection. Take that mutant catfish! That really stinks! <laughs> Maybe you're right, Sawyer. <laughs> Are you guys all right? I had a terrible slot vision with that mutant catfish. Yeah, we gave him the slip. Wait, you can see the future in your snot? Cool! Yeah, but that's not it. <laughs> <gasps> we talked about this.
Miss McGee, I will not pick those hard-to-reach spots just because my fingers are skinnier. Oh, uh, you don't understand. Sawyer said terrible things will happen if I predict the future. Disgustingly. <laughs> oh, that's just an old zombie caretaker tale. I've been reading the future in my undie skin marks for years. Oh, ooh, says here, I'm about to enjoy a healthy midday snack. <laughs> See? The skin marks never lie. Mm. Maybe you should stay in the cabin until your cold goes away, McGee. Oh, oh wait, I feel a sneeze coming. Oh, where's Gretchen's skinny fingers when you really need the <laughs> ah, ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, No! Oh, please don't let something terrible happen to Squirt in the future because of my toxic snot! <laughs> oh, I gotta find Squirt, and quick! <laughs> Squirt! I'm here to save you, buddy. I <laughs> Oh, so, everything okay, Squirt? Ah, yeah. Whew, never been better. What's going on here, McGee? Uh, nothing, I guess. <laughs> it looks like everything's a okay. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha Guys, I must be getting better. The toxic germs are leaving my body. <laughs> ah, finally. Now things can get back to normal around here. Whee! I'm a booger balloon! Well, you know what I mean. I wasn't. Come on, help me find some future snot that actually works! Something bad is gonna happen to Squirt, but I have no idea what it is! <laughs> he looks okay to me. If only I could future sneeze just one more time! But even re-germing myself didn't work. Oh, that reminds me. <clears throat> Be a pal and hold this Armand fur I got out of the shower drain, okay? <sighs> Don't worry, buddy. I'll protect you from the future. Snot or no snot. Ew! Snot it is, then. Aw, oh, come on, Squirt. What's the big deal? Is it so bad being locked up in the cabin 24 hours a day until we figure out what happens to you? I told you, McGee, that's a bunch of old zombie tales. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going swimming. New extra thick goggles ought to protect my eyes from all the floating squid poop in the lake. I can't wait to hit the beach. <laughs> hmm, smells like there's a lot more squid poop than usual. I got you, little buddy! Finally, the lake! Squid poop and all! Ah, time to get floating. <laughs> One. Who knew what could have happened with a leaky floaty? I don't know, McGee. Maybe your snot was wrong. We didn't save Squirt from anything, like in your vision. <laughs> Surprise party. Huh? So it was a party all along? How come I wasn't invited? Um, hello, Toxic Snot. This is a burn-free party zone, after all. Eh, makes sense. Now let's party! <laughs> Only one thing still bothers me. What about the monster I saw? <laughs> yeah, 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 
that's the one. Oh, guys, oh, 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 oh. can this be true? Did you all get me a real life pet scotter? Well, Gretch, guess my toxic cold wasn't all bad. My delicious toxic snot must have lured the snotter here in the first place. So, I guess everything turned out pretty okay. Oh, I'll love it forever and I'll keep him so warm and I'll, I'll take such good care of him, especially since he only eats snot. I, I can see him every day. <laughs> And according to my skid marks, this party's going to be a real smash! <laughs> Dear Mom, here at Camp Lake Bottom, you got to be real careful when you order a sub and a shake! for my triple backflip reverse spleen twisting arm stand pike dive. Give that a strong 4.7. My turn! Watch your I think my spleen's feeling better. All right, Slimy, let's do that dive again. Uh, Slimy? He was here a second ago. Where could he be? <gasps> Wherever he is, I think he's in trouble. Look, Slimy stressing. <gasps> no, she couldn't have. She wouldn't have. She might have. <gasps> Come on, guys. We gotta stop Rosebud before she cooks Slimy. Gotta try this mutant squid ink decongestant. <laughs> oh. Guys, let's ignore that Rosebud's nasal runoff is draining into Lake Ikigumi for now. And be happy that she isn't cooking slimy. Cooking slimy? Cardiddles. What kind of an animal do you take me for? 1001 recipes for mouth-watering, extra tender... Sasquatch barbecue? Hey, it always pays to be prepared. This moisturizer rosebud got me is absolutely sublime. And it smells like mesquite. Oops. Mustn't forget to moisturize the tenderloin area. Well, wherever Slimy is, at least we know he isn't going to be lunch. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> No. Slimy, is that you? You look scrumptious. That is ultra high grade, almost extinct, super delicious octopus. I source all my endangered butt grade sushi myself in the underbutt. <gasps> Hang on, little sushi. We'll save ya. Not that underbutt. That one. Submarine, of course. That's how we'll find Slimy. Let's go, guys. Ah! <laughs> Slimy, huh? Sounds interesting. Okay, keep your eyes open for Slimy. Giant rock, get ahead! Moth alarm, just a turtle butt. A very ticked off turtle butt! Abandoned sub! No! Slimy! <laughs> <laughs> Who knew turtles like to play fetch? Slimy! We were so worried about you! We're relieved to see that you're... <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out with other kids? <clears throat> Time for my triple backflip reverse skill twisting arm stand kite dive! <laughs> Every time. Um, Slimy? All this time you have been hanging out with the bottom lurkers? McGee! Squirt! Gretch! Wow! What are you guys doing here? Hey, Miguel! Uh, 
Actually, we're here for Slimy. We were hanging out with him till he took off. Slimy? That's where you were when we texted you? But you said you were doing your taxes. I thought that sounded kind of fishy. What? Down here in Bottom Lake, fishy means totally believable. <gasps> it's true. Slimy's phone is full of bottom dweller selfies. <gasps> Why didn't you just tell us you were hanging out with them? Makes perfect sense. <gasps> what? You don't understand Slimy? <laughs> Are you kidding? Of course I do, Spout. You're Slimy! <laughs> just like you asked! <laughs> That's not what he said! Ow! That's what Slimy said! Ow! But I wish he didn't! Yeah. Anyway, we'll get out of here and take Slimy off. Sorry, McGee, but Slimy's staying. Huh? Whoa. Whoa. Hey, I get it. Slimy wants us to hang out together. <laughs> well, I guess we could share Slimy. Just as long as we don't have to share them with anyone else or anything else. Ah! It's anything else! What? what? Slimy hangs out with that thing too? Oh, he'd have never done anything like that back at Lake Bottom. He must have picked it up from you guys. Um, in case you didn't notice, Slimy doesn't belong on land. He's a water breather like us. So go find an air breather to hang out with. It's just not the same. We hung out with Slimy all summer. We know him way better than you do. As if we hung out with Slimy all high tide. We know him way better than you do. And way wetter, too. Not, Not now, now, Slimy. Now, Slimy! Mm. Ultra-high-grade species so rare you can be the last of your kind left. Now that's what I call endangered delicious. <laughs> Slimy stressing! Nothing to see here. Just capturing your delicious friend and making him into sushi. <gasps> Ew! Sushi ink! Stress ink! That's the ticket! Aha! <laughs> <laughs> we did it! Now quick! Everybody swim! Swim for your lives! Wasn't a cave? <gasps> Even with all this water, I still need to take a long shower. <laughs> a lobster trap? How humiliating! No! Don't worry about us, McGee! Just get Slimy to safety! Hurry! <laughs> Do your worst, Butt Squad! You'll never get to eat Slimy! Never! You may not be sushi quality, but you'll do for a midday snack. No! Slimy! Don't do it! <laughs> the old pretend to turn the mutant fish kids into sushi trick always works. Come here, look! <laughs> Slimy! No! After this, my list of ultra-rare lunch items will be complete. And I never thought I'd top white rhino horn pate or squeaky clean squid bowel. Squeaky clean? Squeaky! <gasps> That's it! Squeaky! I got it! McGee, now is the worst possible time for a game of slime and sea. <laughs> Get ready, guys! If I know my squeaky toys, that insanely horrifying monster should be here any second. Okay. Any second. Here we go! Any second now! Sure, I can do this. 
this way faster. But I just love the drama. We need more time. We need to distract Butt Squad. We need to... Time for my triple backflip, reverse blade twisting arm stand high dive. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Ooh. I do. <gasps> now that's drama. How glorious! How majestic! How distracting! <laughs> If we learned anything, it's that one weird mutant sea creature should be enough to go around for all of us. We're all really glad you didn't become an exotic lunch item. He says he loves us all and wants us to share him. Uh-huh. <laughs> This letter yesterday, then I might have destroyed the space time continuum <laughs> again. Good boy. Who wants a yummy? All right, evil Sawyer. If you want your arm back? Fetch. McGee meat for you monsters today. Oh. <laughs> What's this? Oh, Rosebud. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I had to temporarily blind you. Yes, nearsightedness is awesome. Oh, come on. Oh, good old time tree. Today's the day. After so many years of trying, I'm gonna finally get back to the right lake bottom timeline. Change the past. Today's the day! <laughs> Today's the day! <laughs> Sorry, me. Today ain't the day. Focus, old McGee, focus! <laughs> it's them and me! I did it! <laughs> Maytag, you're it! Ah, a club it good! Ah! <laughs> My secret tickle spot. How'd he know? How did he know? <sighs> I ought to do the trick. Wow, strange old dude who saved my life. Wait, is it just me or do you look familiar? And smell even more familiar. That's because I am you. I know, hard to believe, right? Why not? What stranger things always happen at Camp Lake Bottom? <laughs> I don't know. This old guy, me? I think we need a McGee verification test. Huh? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Ow! Oh, ow! Whoa. Oh, I haven't exerted my pit muscles like that in years. It's true. I'm him. You're me. We're us. Oh, wow. I mean, I totally thought we'd be taller, but come here, me. Ow! Ow! My middle-aged vertebrae. So, what are you doing back in our time anyway? Glad you asked, Gretch. Because the answer is of the gravest, most important... Uh, importance. Well, important schmarptons. It's not every day I get to hang out with another me. Come on. Let's have some fun, huh? Okay. I am up for some crosswords. Huh? If the print isn't too small. Um, I'm sorry, crosswords? What kind of monster have I become? 
No, you don't understand. I had to give up all the classic McGee fun just to survive. I came back because today is the very day that you save us from forgetting how to have fun. I just hope it's not too late. No, no, quit it! Please, listen to me! I'm on an important mission to start a classic Mickey slime fight! <laughs> 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 oh, hey, eat Beast Nut! <laughs> All right, Beast Nut comes from bees! <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I wear bug spray for the underarm deodorant. <laughs> I... Oh, the forgotten hamburger meat. Maybe I'll use it to make a barbecue for the staff. <laughs> no one's ever going to forget it, I tell you. Ever! <laughs> This is all just part of your remagining. <laughs> oh, the old toot shoot! Oh, how I missed it! Oh, you passed the toilet paper? <laughs> hey, I totally forgot about Fizzy Falls! <coughs> hey, way more bang for burp! Now that was a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> You had one job, Mickey, and you blew it! <gasps> you totally blew it! <laughs> Easy, old McGee. It's just a bit of indigestion. Happens to everyone. I'm sorry, but I gotta head back to my reality and start searching the Lake Bottom timeline again to get back here before that barbecue. The meat was filled with monster virus. <gasps> it transformed the monsters into evil versions of themselves, hungry for bottom dweller flesh. Is that why you didn't bring along the older Gretchen and Squirt? Well, let's just say that you were probably delicious. <gasps> uh, hey, me! You might have missed that barbecue, but every McGee knows you don't travel back into the void of time and space until you come up with a classic McGee's zany plan of action. Ooh, now that does look zany. We used our combined McGee know-how to build the most powerful suction device ever. Yeah, it'll suck virus molecules out of anything. And it's environmental, too. It runs on pre-used TP. <laughs> hey, come on, pay attention, guys. If you don't know how to use this incredibly complex machine, how else can we get the infected meat out of the monster's stomachs in the most disgusting way possible? I... Oh, hold on. I... Is there a bucket? <laughs> of course! Barfing! It's so simple! Anyone can do it! Like... So! In the future, Armand came back here for a post-barbecue nap. <gasps> Cuckoo! 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 No! Worst post barbecue nap ever! Continuing with Operation Upchuck, next up, Rosebud. Just one wriggle of this squirt spittle covered mutant worm in Rosebud's ear ought to flip her whole stomach inside out. I make guarantee it. Good plan. I'll try to locate Sawyer. He's the last one on our upchuck list. After Sawyer's done barfing, we should be in the clear. Ah! This isn't a time for your puke pranks. In fact, all your little slow up games might have made Sawyer seriously sick. Wait a sec. Ah! Evil infected Sawyer. I always forget that Sawyer knows how to use that time tree, too. Easy. <sighs> okay, guys, the mission is off. I, uh, kind of sort of accidentally brought back infected Sawyer. And <laughs> I just can't risk any of you getting bitten by him. Yeah! Ah, good values! 
Isaiah! Looks like you've got your appetite back! We can still make Rosebud barf. We just have to totally avoid evil Sawyer. Ooh! Fifty years of skid marks ought to get Rosebud barfing. <laughs> no! Bad Sawyer! Very bad! <laughs> yeah! You have a cold, tidy whitey, McGee! Cold, tidy whitey! <laughs> Yummy meat! Oh. <laughs> nom noms! Good hamburger! No, Rosebud! No. <laughs> this meat is infected with a monster virus! Look what happened to Sawyer after he ate it! <laughs> <gasps> so this means Sawyer is acting this way? Because of me? Oh, no! <laughs> no! Oh, I'm such a bad cook! Making the other monsters sick! <laughs> Makes me so sick to myself. Oh, she means it literally. Run! Hey, Capers, what's on the hubbub? Oh, no. oh, there goes my stomach and my lunch. <sighs> I'm glad it's all over. It's okay, McGee. This means we did it. We changed the future. Now your destiny is wide open! Long live the fun! Anyone see my stomach? Yeah, good times. <laughs> Dear Mom, road trip! All we need is a longer road! <laughs> Campers, snail mail! <laughs> Almost forgot this! Anything for me? You bet, camper. Yes! <laughs> and for you! <laughs> Ooh! Thanks! What about me? What about me? What about me? What about me? <laughs> Away! I just hit the correspondence mother mode! <laughs> Wait a sec. Wait one sec? This letter isn't for me. It's from me. Huh? So is this one. And this one. And this one! These are all letters I sent to my mom this summer. And they've all been sent back. That's weird, McGee. Why would all your letters be sent back? Oh, let's see. Poor penmanship. Free stain letters. Stanky spit on the stamp. Stanky spit on the envelope. All valid points, Squirt. But I choose to jump to the most extreme conclusion. Something horrible happened to my parents! Uh, I have to find out if my folks are okay! Mom? Dad? I'm a coming! I think. <laughs> oh, what? I might as well bring my laundry. After I find my mom, she can wash all my dirty undies. Just use this and call them, okay? Huh? Huh? This frantically dialed cell phone is currently not in service. What, hello? Not in service? Why? Why? Why isn't there any service? Why? <laughs> Sawyer, you said you had an old-timey phone in here. Where is it? Found it. I think I hear a dial tone. <laughs> uh, that's not it, guys. This is it. No, Greg! <laughs> Get your old-timey things straight. That's an old-timey iron. This is an old-timey phone. <clears throat> oh, pick up, pick up, pick up. Come on, pick up. The customer you have dialed is not picking up. They didn't pick up! Please proceed to panic. Goodbye. <laughs> what do we do now? If we can't contact your parents, McGee, we're gonna find out why. The Camp Lake Bottom Gang is going to McGee's house! Okay, gang, here's how it's gonna go down. As soon as the sun starts to set, we get on the camp bus. Then we drive the bus to McGee's town and find his parents. <gasps> no! Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, who follows intricately orchestrated plans anyway? Now, as long as we're out before sunrise, the city folk won't know their town was full of monsters. Okay, the non-plan plan works for me. Let's do this. Oop. Everybody, all aboard! <laughs> Okay in there? Fit as a fiddle. Thanks again for loaning me your suitcase, McGee. And a pile of dirty undies? So cozy. Hey! Can we get moving already? Uh, now to see if all my not a monster training paid off. <clears throat> bark. Bark, bark. Woof. <laughs> not bad, Armand. <laughs> Acting is my life. A beginner's guide to bus driving. <laughs> Every little bit helps. <laughs> See? Every little bit does help. Okay, everybody! Here we go! <laughs> Guys, I just wanted to say thanks. With all of us working together, I know nothing can go wrong. <laughs> Okay. Now here we go. <laughs> Just remember where we parked. <gasps> no, I cannot believe we're in the big city. This is so exciting. I know. There's so much to see. Ooh, a house. <gasps> Oh, paved roads. Yeah, paved roads are great, but I'm too worried about my parents to enjoy them. Oh, I hope they're okay. Focus, team, focus. We don't have much time to spare. We are a go for Operation Find McGee's parents. Uh, um. Uh, we are also a go for Operation Get Squirt a Souvenir. Now, before we deploy, does anyone need a number one release scenario? It's just cool mission talk for anyone need a pee break? <laughs> anyone see Sawyer? I hope he's not taking a pee break in my suitcase. That we left on the bus! <gasps> no! Sawyer! That was not part of my well-orchestrated plan! I've got this. Also, woof, 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 woof! It's a wild ride. Oh, I could really use a number one release scenario. Um, anyone know where the parts of me are that do that? Phew, good thing Armand was able to stop the bus, huh? I would, hey, where is Armand anyway? Guys, you'll never believe the gig I just landed. I'm headlining the Dog Pound. Whatever that is. Hollywood, here I come. <laughs> Campers. The coast is clear. Oh, this is so not cool. My parents could be in some serious jumping at the most extreme conclusion danger right now. Don't worry. I'm sure the extreme danger your parents are in will last till after we rescue Armand. Team, I got the perfect plan. Everyone say, rescue and tap. <laughs> is the perfect plan. Now let's do this! Huh, the door was unlocked the whole time. Come on, everyone. <clears throat> I said, let's do this! <laughs> okay, team, prepare yourselves. Being in lockdown changes people and Sasquatches. <laughs> Gang, glad you could make it. Pull up a dirty pillow and join in. Armand, we gotta get you out. I'm not going anywhere. We're at a crucial point in our rehearsal. 
These dogs are going to be stars! Who wants a Tweety? Nom, nom, nom! Oh, showbiz is such a cruel mistress. One day you're surrounded by rabid dogs, the next day you're nothing. Oh. Wow, they are good. Okay, now can we find my folks? Uh, we're missing Squirt. <laughs> Okay, so now can we find my pet? Hey, anyone see Rosebud? This plum rodent will be perfect for my special rat dog recipe. Come on, we must hurry. No, I am not leaving. I am going to be a rat dog millionaire. <sighs> wait, wait, stop the bus. <gasps> We're here, guys. It's my house. See? Oh, that's my hockey stick right there. <laughs> and that's my scooter. Ow! <laughs> that's, uh, that's my mom's. McGee, if this is your house, then why is the address on the letters different? See? The house address is 23 Generic Road, but the letter says 123 Generic Road. Yeah, that is weird. And, huh? Okay. I forgot I took this address number along with me to camp as a keepsake. <laughs> so no wonder all these letters that my mom came back to me. <laughs> it's pretty funny, huh? And we are a stop on Operation Find McGee's Parents. That still doesn't explain why McGee's parents aren't even at home. I just love sunrises. Now back on the bus. Just need some breakfast first. <laughs> This must be McGee's cabin. Oh, he is going to be completely surprised to see us here. <laughs> Even if he never did send us one letter, maybe he didn't want us to visit him at camp. Oh, come on, sweetheart. Why wouldn't McGee want us to visit him at camp? Oh, look at the cute little chipmunk. Oh! Oh! Honey, do something! They say genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. That must mean I'm brilliant. Uh, they call this a heat wave? It's more like a... Uh, uh, I'm too hot to be clever. I gotta cool down. I just gotta... Uh-huh. Uh. Sorry. This coolness is taken. Uh. I knew I was a hottie, but come on! Make way! Hot sand! Hot sand! Cannonball! Refreshing! Maybe I can interest you in a cool breeze. can cool down in Rosebud's meat locker. Occupied. <laughs> Sorry. What a whiftacular day, huh, McGee? I feel so alive. Uh, just a figure of speech. <laughs> hey, how's Sawyer keeping cool? Just a dab to cool my bones. Not one dab more or I'll explode. Now, that's a cautionary poem for anyone who might be watching me use this. <sighs> totally delightful, Flutter Eye. Hope I didn't miss any cautionary poetry. Ooh, refreshing. <sighs> Hyperhydrosil prevents total zombie body rot due to dried out sweat glands. Hmm, may contain tea tree oil and dried vomit flakes. Ew! Tea tree oil? Huh. Ooh, tingly cool. <sighs> and all from one tiny little insignificant dab. 
What a cool misty sea breeze would feel right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, it actually worked. Thank you, imagination. Yeah, and thank you, cool miss. You are both very welcome. Oh, no! Oh, Hmm, yeah. salty. Hey, I can't help cooling people off. Probably because of my cool personality. Or that zombie hyper sweat cream. You know one. All I know is the more I sweat, the more my body cools itself off. It's science. It's sweat science. And you can't argue with sweat science. I've tried. I'll disprove your theorem one day, sweaty abacus. Oh, yeah. Who needs water when you have a sweat shower complete with selection of sweaty settings? <laughs> You're welcome. Feeling a little dizzy. No, Mickey, you're leaking like a busted latrine. And you smell worse. You can't stop sweating. Look! Shows you what you know. See? I can stop sweating whenever I will. Uh, 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 squirt! Uh, a little help? I'm on it. <sighs> ah, this is so Damn. not cool. I mean, sure, I feel cool, but oh, you know what I mean? I guess that explains this. Only zombies are supposed to use hypohydrazil because we don't sweat. If McGee doesn't stop sweating, and soon, he'll dry up and go full raisin. Uh, that's a zombie medical term, by the way. Huh? Oh, huh. it's starting! <laughs> Gotta keep you nice and hydrated. Welcome to the hyperhydrazil helpline. Thank you for holding. Please press 1 now if you'd like to order an I Love Hyperhydrosil t-shirt. If you've ignored our cautionary poem and are experiencing a case of full raisining, please press 2 now for the location of the nearest antipersimmon tree, the only known cure for excessive oversweating. You must head into the forest. That's right near here! Let's go! Hello? Hyperhydrosil helpline? Um, uh, one t-shirt, please. Look! The anti-persimmon tree! Wow! That was way more convenient than I thought! Ah! No! But Squat! What are you doing? If you don't mind, I'm clear-cutting valuable anti-persimmon here. Why would you want anti-persimmon? <gasps> but Squat, do you also suffer? from over-sweating? Romeo! Romeo! Romeo? Hello? Forsooth! I am... Uh... I am... Uh... It's, it starts with an R line. Rhymes with polio. I say it all the time. What's my line? <gasps> Easy, butt squad. Keep cool. You know what happens if you lose your... <laughs> Romeo needs a deodorant yo. <laughs> <sighs> After the Sunny Smiles Theater reviewer called the performance Romeo and Julie Sweat, I vowed nothing would make me sweat again. Don't be ashamed. <laughs> what? You're uh, not planning to use all that anti are you, Butt Squad? I mean, I'm just asking in a breezy, casual, um, I don't need it oh so very desperately kind of way. Oh, I'm taking every little bit I can get. And this is why. Ah! Oh, phew, another layer. <laughs> that was close. What are those things anyway, Butt Squad? Ice cube making undies, my primary cooling off device. But the heat blew their delicate undie fuses. That's when I started hoarding anti-persimmon. <laughs> Squad, please, please don't take all that anti persimmon because McGee needs some too. <gasps> you? An over sweater? I. Uh, 
Huh. As you can clearly see, every oversweater knows it's not his fault. He's so disgusting. True. So share the anti-persimmon so McGee doesn't go full raisin. <laughs> What do you know? The stereo still works. Oh, also. No anti persimmon for you! Now beat it, sweatbag! <laughs> no! I need that anti persimmon! No! Yummy! You hand it over! Yeah. It's mine! Oh, it's totally on. mine! Ew, you're so wet and sweaty! You're paying to dry clean my hanky and my remote. <laughs> no, no! Make me sweat. You wouldn't like me when I sweat. <laughs> sure thing, Julie Sweat. <laughs> yeah, we should have expected that. Hi! What's the deal, Bud Squat? That was a big, sweaty mistake. Again. I'm on hold with the hyperhydrocell helpline. Thank you for holding. Your order has been processed. Your I love hyperhydrocell t-shirts uh, will be shipped in. T-shirts? <laughs> I've been on hold for six hours for t-shirts? We'll all be the coolest guys in camp. <laughs> you get it? Cool. <laughs> Dear Mom, good news. Everyone in camp thinks I'm really sweet. And Gretch scans the field. She digs left. She digs right. She moves. It's got to be a touchdown. Okay, I got it. No, I got it. I got it. I got it. Hey, hey, I got it. No, I got it. Oh, wow. I got it. I got it. Everything's coming up square. Okay, is it just me, or was this gigantic fence not here 11 minutes ago? Hey, like the fence bottom smellers? I got it custom made. Check it out. Stay out, bottom smellers. This means you. Repeat, stay out. <laughs> bottom smellers. <laughs> that one never gets old. <sighs> oh, by the way, you guys are on Lake Bottom Lockdown. Oh, come on. What are you babbling about now, Butt Squat? I'm babbling about your stinky pet Sasquatch. He was spotted in Sunny Smiles. That's a no no. If I ever catch him there again, I'll turn him into a Sasquatch for Batman. <laughs> okay. First of all, Butt Cheese, Armand would make a way better area rug. And why would he want to be anywhere near you? <laughs> Ooh! Brother! Brother! Ah, uh, yep, that's him, all right. Arm band? Yes, arm band. The giant hairy arm band? That's what infiltrated Sunny Smiles, not her mind. Totally believable. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah right. That yes. Totally. That, that, See? Yeah, Her mom totally isn't cool. sneaking around your camp, huh? So, I'll just get my ball and be on my way. <laughs> hmm. A giant armband, huh? <laughs> yeah. I heard about those, obviously. Until I figure out what crept into my camp, this bed stays up, and nothing will ever cross it again! <laughs> Armand, you have to come out from there, please! Caught on video? Oh, what a rookie Sasquatch mistake! <laughs> oh, come on, Armand, cheer up! It's not that bad. Not that bad? <laughs> Not that bad? Did you know the video went viral? Listen to these horrible comments. Grotesque creature, lumbering brute, bad mannered beast, oh! The world doesn't understand me. I'm not a monster. Okay, I am. But you know what I mean. You don't know how good you got it. I'd love to go viral. <laughs> good news, Mickey! This looks like it definitely went viral. That is not the kind of viral I meant. I meant that I'd be an awesome monster. Imagine it, people crying and running and being their pant in fear because of me. But what? This, this foot is terrifying. Oh, me. Armand must be really sad. He hasn't even come out to join the campfire. Or to take a poop break. Oh, yeah? Well, I got something that'll get Armand out of there. Ha! Ch -ch 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 Check it out. A Sasquatch sized s'more. Now that's grotesque. <laughs> yes! Deliciously grotesque. A s'more? McGee? Really? That disgusting blob is not going to do anything for Armand. Oh, come on, Grouch. He's going to love it. <gasps> oh, okay. I think so. <laughs> Sounds like McGee's in trouble. Or it's a rabid gremlin. McGee! Calm down. We gotta get that hot goo off of you. Wait! Oh, no, 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 <laughs> well played, Smittywix. When do I get a turn? Be quiet. My help. He'll never last as a freaky monster. Shh. No. Please stop screaming. Just head back. No, no, Gretch, we can't just give up on s'mores. I, I, I mean, s'mores. I, I mean, McGee? Yes, that's it. S'mores. <laughs> Wait a second. I really hope that's chocolate. Mm. Oh, it is. S'mores chocolate with just a hint of McGee's belly button lint. Should I even ask how you know what that tastes like? <laughs> Uh, he went that away. I, I'm awake. I'm awake. Oh, huh? What's oh. that? Oh, oh. <gasps> it was awful. It was horrible. It was a half ogre, half tasty dessert. It was a smoker. A smoker? 
Not on my watch. I'm coming for you, Smoger. No Sunny Smilers will ever be good again. This monster deal is getting boring. How am I supposed to horrify victims if they're all in hiding? Well, I might as well head back anyway. Fudge is starting to chafe. <laughs> Attention, Smoger! You are strictly forbidden at Camp Sunny Smiles. <laughs> I'm what? I, no, 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 wait! I'm not the Smoger! I'm. You've been warned! Release the Smoger melting protocol! Coco? Correct, Smoger. It's steaming hot. Hot enough to melt you for good. No! Punch Squad, don't melt me! I'm not a smoker! It's me, McGee! Oh, yeah, I heard the no! Butt Squad, don't melt me! I'm not a smoker! It's me, McGee line a thousand times! So just melt with dignity. McGee! Hands up! Yeah, we're here to save your delicious chocolatey hide! Yeah! <laughs> 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 I gotta help McGee. How do I do that without getting caught? Vision goggles, worth every penny. Free smoker! <laughs> Literally, liquid nitrogen, a dessert based monster hunter's best friend. <laughs> I did it! I caught the smoker! I protected Sunny Smiles! I out McGee McGee! I wish he was here so I could rub it in his face! <laughs> Silence! Time to smash you into a million bite-sized smogers! Ha 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 ha! Ha I'll get you, smoger! <laughs> and your smoger sidekick, too! A smoger sidekick? <laughs> Seriously? Ha-ha! How's that for grotesque? And Buttsquat was none the wiser. Uh, Armand! You came out of hiding, risked being captured, wore a mask of belly button lint-covered s'mores, just for me? Oh, I know what it's like to be a monster and to be misunderstood. Besides, I learned something. It's okay to be a monster as long as you do it with style and panache. Now that can go viral. <laughs> Oh, I'm so over being a monster, but this s'mores goo is totally frozen on. How do I get it off? Oh, I've waited all night for this. Mm. Oh. Dear Mom, you know, being famous is not all it's cracked up to be. Nothing's as relaxing as watching deadly explosions of fire. Ah. Oh, 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 this is it! Here comes the boom boom! Hold on to all your butts! Already on it! Yeah! Let's get this party erupted! Ha -ha. Ah! Nice! Oh, man, total lava letdown. Never underestimate Mount Fit to Boom! <laughs> Intense? Huh? Oh. Wow! Uh, 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 Gretcherson! You had me at binoculars. Oh, uh, that, that line! I, I know that line! Yes! I mean, it's just our favorite movie of all time! <laughs> when when crime, crime is too, too far away to see, it's, it's time, time to, to get some binoculars! binoculars. Uh, Will you look at that, sweetheart? It seems as if we've got some fans. Only your biggest fans? You're our favorite action movie star couple! Huh. I'm 
the Gritchison's biggest fan. I even have a tattoo. It's on my body. Stay out of their sight, Armand. We don't want to scare the humans. Oh, please. What's so frightening about us? Right. Not that we're complaining, but why are you guys visiting Camp Lake Bottom anyway? To see our precious daughter, of course. Gretchy Kim. Gretchy Kim? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. And then there's this. I sleep there. Those are squirt McGee's bunks. That's a shrunken head, spider eggs, the usual. Interesting. It smells like the set of Invasion of the Mold Men from Mars. What? Welcome to Lake Bottom Macaroni Lays, our tradition. Yeah? Since when? Well, let's see. Since super awesome movie stars started coming to our camp, so today? Oh. McGee, could you give it a rest? Oh, don't worry. We're used to it, dear. Make sure you get my good side. Where is that music coming from? We had sound systems added to our formal way. It just made sense. <laughs> okay, Gretch, what is the deal here? You are embarrassing us in front of your parents. Oh, and speaking of that, why didn't you tell us? Oh, come on, Gretch. Me and Squirt live for your parents' movies. Like Double Black Belt Shark Tap Out 4? Or Double Black Belt Shark Tap Out 5, the re-sharkening? Come on. Both classics in the giant shark versus human genre. Sorry. Personally, I can't stand all that Hollywood nonsense. Whoa. Nonsense? What are you saying? <laughs> and that's what you get for invading the White House. Ah, oh, now that brings back memories. Did you know that shark had a black belt in Taekwondo dorsal fin? Dad, Double Black Belt Shark Tap Out 5 was just a movie. Can't we all talk about real people stuff for once? Real people stuff? Gretch, we talked about this. Stop giving your father frown lines. If I didn't know you better, I'd think you didn't want a visit from your action stars. Uh, you mean parents? No, that's exactly what I said. Oh, happens every time. <laughs> Someone call for parent participation. Stand up straight, dear. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. I'm patented by my own folks. Aw, oh, there, there, Gretch. I'm here for you. <laughs> <laughs> wow! That was just like spin kick and spin kick party six, Mrs. G. My turn! <laughs> Best spin kick inflicted in turtle rupture ever. That's it. I'm so out of here. <gasps> oh, what's with Gretchikins now? <coughs> hey, this is just like the set of Killer Cough Cloud 5. <laughs> <laughs> Gretchy Wetchy, is that you? <coughs> Can I get an autograph? A lock of hair, an extra kidney, perhaps anything? I'm your biggest fan! Ah! Okay, this is gonna be just like the final scene in Spin Kick Party 6. And oh, and don't be afraid to go for the Gritcherson eyeball crush. You got it! And watch out for the Gritcherson larynx twist, too! Ah! 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 Have you seen Armand? You know how fan crazy Armand is. I hope he isn't chasing after the Gritcher's pants. Oh, don't worry. The Gritchersons can totally handle one crazy fanboy. <laughs> Gretchen's folks are running scared. Straight for Mount Fit to Blow. And it's Fit to Blow. Oh, now I get it. Oh, the Gritchersons? Scared? That's impossible! They played every kind of hero that's ever existed! That's it! Squirt! They must be researching roles for a movie! Come on, remember how scared they pretended to be in Giant Gator 7? <laughs> You've been accessorized! 
surprised. Ha! Come on, Squirt. Those two acting geniuses are Grinchersoning it to the hilt, and we're missing it. Mom? Dad? Here we go again. Huh? Oh, see? I told you the Grinchersons could handle fanboy Armand. Uh-huh. Looks like a textbook Grinchersons larynx twist to me. Actually, I slipped in a puddle of the Grinchersons' fear snot as they were desperately running away. <gasps> and all I wanted was a few pics of them for my celebrity scrapbook. According to Gritchopedia, the Gritchersons practice kung fu yoga, don't eat pineapple, and poop 400 times a year. But it never said anything about running from fans! That's because it's acting, Squirt. If we split up, I bet we can find them before they wrap. <laughs> That's Hollywood talk. Come on! <laughs> Ran whatever that was. Time for a peace spot check. All clear. You too. Oh, nice work, dear. There you are. It's dinner time. <laughs> well, don't you want any of my famous stone soup? <laughs> Sorry. I loved you guys in Screaming Zombie Stompers 3D. Oh, how ironic. Get it off me! Get oh! it off me! Oh! Ah! <laughs> Look, it's Gretchikins! Gretchikins! Gretchikins has come to save us! Gretchikins! <sighs> Please, get us out of here. So, it's true? You weren't just acting scared? But. But you wrestled sharks! You you fought mutant gators! You crashed a jet to get here! <sighs> Guess it's up to old Gretchikins to set the story straight again. Oh, I don't do slimy. Stop double! <laughs> you knew this whole time? Sure. You sent stunt doubles to all my birthday parties because you didn't trust the candles. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, guys. None of this would have happened if you acted like normal parents, even if you are the world's biggest cowards. You're so right, dear. Oh, Squirt, look at me. We can still love their movies, right? Even if the Christiansons are the world's biggest coward. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't. Ah, uh, yeah. Can't. Now, let's go before Mount Fit to Blow explodes. You can act not scared better than anybody! Okay, I can do that. And action! Thanks for saving us. Oh, and by the way, I did notice you borrowed the rescue scene from Lava Luau the Third. So you have seen your parents' movies, Gretch? Oh, only like a trillion times. See, I told you, you could act not scared better than any- ah! <sighs> <gasps> Oh, this is so going in the scrapbook! <laughs> Dear Mom, did you get my last letter? I might have addressed it to the wrong dimension! Ooh, the summer storm! What a great time to experience the raw force of nature! <laughs> That's enough raw force of nature for one night! You dragged us out here in the rain? To look at a tree? Not just any tree. This one is blocking the only way in or out of Lake Bottom. But we're out of supplies. How are we supposed to get more? What'll happen to art and our craft? We need glue. Sparkles! Sparkles! 
Armand! We can't let the kids know the supply chain is down. Yeah, there's only enough food for the one more lunch. You know how the cadiddles get cranky when they're hungry. Yeah, but there's something much, much worse than cranky campers. So bored. Hmm. Ooh, look what I found under the bed. Yes! Now we can finally be chased by mutant bears. I call dips on anything the mutant bears don't eat or puke up. <laughs> If we don't find a way to amuse the campers, we're all in big trouble. Easy, Sawyer. I'm sure the campers can amuse themselves for a while. Hi, guys. up? People, I think it's time to use the you-know-what. A winkity-wink. <gasps> Not the winkity. Yeah, the wink. Uh, Sawyer, why are we going to the beach? It's totally pouring out. Oh, I think the rain is letting up. <gasps> wow, this is amazing! How did this even happen? What happened, Gret? <laughs> this sunlight is perfectly normal. Do you think I opened a portal to some other dimension and borrowed some sun from there? <laughs> hey, kids! Who wants arts and craft supplies? I've got sparkles! <laughs> Mine! <laughs> McGee, is it me, or do you feel like Sawyer isn't telling us? Who's up for a well-timed and distracting goo ball fight? <laughs> goo balls and sparkles, and it's not even my birthday. <laughs> hey, what's Rosebud up? Uh, Gretch. I like to secretly follow Rosebud as much as the next guy, but uh, it's raining really hard. Shh. Okay, that is weird, but not, you know, lake bottom weird. We have seen some crazy stuff. Ah, dinner is served for the rest of the summer. Lobsters come out of there. Maggie, the staff kept this portal secret for a reason. I mean, what if you end up in some weird alternate interdimensional reality? Wait, you mean the portal goes to other dimensions? Okay, I just wanted to see more giant lobsters. Other dimensions! Here we go! Ow. Ooh, I love nuts! Hmm. Let's try this again. First squirt. Do you think it'll stay? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> of course, this portal opens on whatever anyone thinks about. You couldn't think of anything better than a giant mushroom? All right, you know the drill. Don't think about anything. In that vein, everyone potty before we portal. And done. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, lake bottom. Lake bottom? Come on, total interdimensional portal letdown. On the bright side, at least it's not raining. Guys, listen, someone's coming. <laughs> Oh. Hey, put her there. Me? <laughs> uh, guys, I'm pretty sure that we're zombies in this dimension. Wow, way to state the obvious, McGee. Now get over here and help! And I thought I told you guys to think about nothing, remember? I tried, Mickey. I really did. Hi, Squirt. Know what? Thinking about me is probably what sent you to an all-zombie dimension. Yeah, you're probably right. 
We need a place to lay low until our zombie selves clear away from that portal tree. Oh, here you go, little zombie. Uh oh, now that is not good. Yeah, you're definitely right. We'll hide in here. As soon as this dimension's Armand finds us, he'll help us get back home. <gasps> Unless, just throwing it out there, this Armand is a zombie too! Hamper's in my cabin. Fresh campers. Slayer? Come with me if you want to live. Uh, outside of a zombie stomach, that is. Squirt, what did I tell you about personal space? Oh! Let me apologize for my awful zombie-filled dimension. Why are you here? You gotta get back to your own dimension. You're so right. Hey, it's been a slice. Wait, don't go yet. It's been so long since I've met anyone who didn't want to eat me. How about a few games first? <laughs> ah, oh, that's just great. You brought a zombie into my cabin. We didn't know Squirt was a zombie. One day he's human, one day he's a farting alien king. It's hard to keep track. <laughs> ah, please don't hurt him. Squirt's still our friend. Changes everything. We have to get you back to the portal. Stat! <laughs> Hang tight, buddy. We'll get you out of here in no time. I hope. Don't stop till you hit the portal. The zombie virus can't withstand a trip to another dimension, so that should take care of Squirt. I'll take care of your other problems. Time for some sweet brain zooka action. Hey! I'm really going to miss you guys. Folks that don't want to eat me are hard to come by. Why don't you come with us? You don't have to stay in this zombie wasteland a second longer. I'm having uh, too much fun here. Yeah! Stomping uh, these zombies. And I hate zombies. I mean, I really uh, detest uh, zombies. Hey, uh, just out of curiosity, what am I like in your dimension? Uh, I'd love to stay in chat, but uh, we really got a portal. Uh huh. Yeah. See you around the dimensional continuum. Uh, yeah. Okay. Bye. Uh, no zombies, no zombies, no zombies, no zombies, no zombies. I had enough zombie dimension to last me at least 500 years. Squirt personal spec. Oh! Crunch, it's me! Squirt 1.0! Squirt! Oh, I swear that's the last time we or use that portal again. <laughs> now, what in tarnation are you two whippers, snappers, John, about now? <sighs> okay, one more time. <laughs> Dear Mom, if you're going food shopping today, no fish sticks! I get on a full moon? Come on, McGee. 
I want to get this ritual over with and get out of this disgusting camp. Sorry, Susie, you're right. McGee, ritual over with now. Each year, on the summer's first full moon, we secretly meet to commemorate a sad anniversary. I remember the flushing incident like it was yesterday. Eat up, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> Number 3417, you're a hungry little Ocean Ape, aren't you? Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're a hungry little Ocean Apey Wapey and McGee! Get off of that! Suits Day! Mom said 5,000 and 10,000 Ocean Apes are mine! <gasps> You tattletale, you get one ocean ape. Tip number 5878. He smells gross just like you. Cool! I gotta see what ocean ape farts smell like. And me! No! Oh, if half the ocean apes are yours, Mickey, then you get them out. Ew, after triple stuffed taco Tuesday? Yuck! No way! Yes! No! You're I not the best You have to do what I say! <laughs> Stay out of this! Just go lift and stop struggling! No, oh, you're not the best of me! Yes, I am! No, you're not! No! From that moment on, we were never allowed to have pets again. But I, the mature older sister, accepted it, since it was all your fault. As if! What about all the other unfortunate incidents before that horrible night ever happened? <laughs> Susie! <sighs> Come on, Suze, look at us! We can't even honor the memory of the pets we flushed down the toilet without fighting! Yeah, but that's our thing. It's a terrible thing! If we got along... Get along, huh? Maybe. Just maybe. Mom and Dad would let us have a pet again. Pet? Huh? I'm listening. Okay, imagine. Mm, us not fighting. Acting like brothers and sisters on TV. <laughs> new ringtone. Where were we? Oh, right. Not fighting. Getting a new pet. Interesting. <laughs> Got a text. Okay, let's get this ritual over with. <sighs> huh, not uh, bad, McGee. Aw, uh, thanks, sis. That's so awesome. Ah! <laughs> okay, Uncle, Uncle! Maybe it was too soon. Sorry, baby, Brub Brub. Just a reflex. <laughs> Okay, now let's try this. Getting along. It's our sir. Uh, wait, wait! Our getting along to get a new pet plan means no backhanded brother racket smashes. Uh, <laughs> I love this game. Listen up, people! We've trained for this very moment. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill! Commence anti Susie protocol. Stop! Oh. Ready, SPD. SPD loaded! Susie perimeter defense online. Ugh. Okay, please, please, can a guy and a sissy lunch together? Um, try the tuna tots. They are chock full of tots. <laughs> oh, I gotta take this call. Later, Rob. Later, sis. Oh, I know, I don't believe it either. But me and Susie are totally besties now. Also, she taught me to say besties. What? I gotta do all the stuff I never had a chance to. Oh, yeah! Ah, okay, I'm all good. Anyone up for a swim? <laughs> ah, my foot! A mutant monster's got my foot! Gotcha! <laughs> oh, that one never gets old. <laughs> you just wait, one day you'll get caught. Ah, a mutant monster's got me! <laughs> yes? How are you? Uh, no, sorry, buddy, you don't ring a bell. Well, then, let's see if this ding's a bong. <laughs> you know, I'd recognize that fart anywhere. It can't be. Ocean 8 number 5878. Ding bong. Wow, you've grown. Whoa, 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 whoa
Jiminy! The flushing incident was a terrible misunderstanding, and I... Oh, you know what? I have a quick question. Did you always know how to talk, or...? Oh, of course not! I learned to speak by listening to humans from the pipes above! Now I have an excellent bushmabulary! Yes! Excellent! I've searched for you since the day of the flushing! I finally found you, and now it's pay blurk time! But, but, but it wasn't all my fault! Oh, we know! <laughs> Susie! What do you think of our new claw-crafted aquarium? Not too schmabby, huh? We were your pets. Now you're ours. Welcome to your new forever home. <laughs> we're really madling at you. No! Uh, forever? I, I can't drink water for that long. Help anyone? I'm sorry, camper. No can do. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Ocean apes. What did I do? Humans. You're all alike. And I should know. I spent years living in your sewers. But you two are the worst. <gasps> we only wanted love. But your arguing put a schwend to that with a big, wet, stinky flush. Now, we're gonna show you how that feels. <laughs> Wait! Please give us another chance. We always loved you guys the best. Uh, yeah? Why do you think we have a ritual for you every year? Uh, we may be ocean apes, but we're not bloopage, you know. You'll just flush us again. But we're getting along. As Susie is my witness, you shall never be flushed again. Getting along? Really? Oh, never flummushed again? <laughs> so what do we do now? Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah! Fetch, Ocean Apes! Fetch! Fetch, but at least they brought something back, right? Ha! Ah, shake! 5878, eight, shake! Oh! Go, 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 Easy, girl. It's just time for a walkie. Who wants to go on a walkie dokie pokie bye? Let's walkie dokie pokie bye! <laughs> Who knew we could all find Lerv again? We're so delighted to be your pets. Absolutely delighted. We did it, sis. We'll never argue over our ocean apes again. <gasps> McGee, maybe now we can reconnect with our other pets, too. Oh, except for Piggy McSwine Swine. He was one delicious plate of bacon. So crispy. That was Piggy McSwine Swine? I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was one delicious pet. Other Her pets? pets? You love other pets? <laughs> there are no other pets, only ocean apes. <laughs> Leave me out of this. <laughs> Before we become Ocean Ape Chew Toys, I just want to say, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. <laughs> McGee, you're right. This is totally all your fault. <laughs> what? Oh, come on. I was just saying that to be nice. This is actually all your fault. My fault? Yes. <laughs> As if Ding Bong. And we're back. What, Ding Bong? Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, that's come on. Why are Mommy and Daddy fighting? Stay out of this! <laughs> It's all coming back! They don't nerve us! They only blicker! Blicker and flight! The flushing! The flushing! You've got to fight the flurge! Swim the other way! Fight the flurge by me, Seventy! Wait, wait! Don't leave me alone! <laughs> Sorry about your Ocean Ape pets, guys. Ah, oh, we are so never gonna have pets. 
Uh, hello? Campers? Can someone at least fill our water bottle? <laughs> Party turned into a real rager. Woohoo! Yeah! All right! What a night for a party! I've never seen such a sparkly moon before. It matches my party shirt. Oh, ah! Come on, Squirt! Raise the roof! Oh, now let's get our lake bottom bottoms jumping! <laughs> Campers of a delightful hippie hoppy music. <laughs> no, no, not tonight! Not tonight! Hmm, what's good tonight? Well, let me tell you, pal, our special, the Magilla Sunrise. Fruity, bubbly, and only slightly toxic. Your burps will never taste the same. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, not smiling. Campers, you must shut this party down immediately. But why? Legends have been told that on a night just like this, with the disco ball moon, horrible things could happen if there is a party. Aw, but the disco ball moon is so sparkly. <laughs> How can horrible things happen when there's sparkles involved? Because the combination of the disco ball moon and a party summons the party animal. But who or what is the party animal? Where does it come from? No one knows! Huh. All we know is the party animal never stops getting down once the party starts. It lives off the partier's spirit. And if it gets enough, the party animal will continue to party down The legends say the only thing that stops the party animal is a lame party. Lameness disrupts the mystic funk of the disco ball moon and sends the party animal packing. Why don't you just party on a night when the disco moon doesn't... There's no time for your logic, Gretch. Just promise you won't party anymore tonight. Please. Oh. Ah. Uh, it's as if I can still hear our party. Where parties go to die. Yeah, it's a dying party, all right. It sounds like Butt Squad is having one of his box socials again. Sounds lame enough to keep the party animal away, but we better check it out. Guys, can I at least keep my party shirt on? When I put on a box social, I literally put on a box social. Ugh. Can I get another box partner? This one is the worst date ever. Ew, who invited them? Butt Squad, call this, uh, well, whatever you call it, off! It is not safe, but... Bouncer, remove these bottom smellers from this private party. Huh? <laughs> oh no! Makila Sunrise! <laughs> no, no, no! I specifically locked out the butt bouncer party mode. McKee, how did we turn the lamest party ever into the coolest party ever? We gotta pull the plug before the party animal shows up. Come on, Gretch. If the party animal was gonna show up, it would have shown up by now. For all we know, it could be a million miles away from here. He makes a good point, Gretch. <laughs> Sounds like a party. Shut the fun down before the party animal decides. Party! Yeah! <laughs> this party has 
some serious party down potential. Oh, yeah! Is that the party animal? I'm nauseous. I'm, I'm nauseous <laughs> with rhythm. <laughs> you know? He may be a party animal, but I kind of dig his party style. much party for the Sunny Smilers to handle. They're not used to laughing or having fun. Well, you ain't seen nothing yet! Ha ha! as we thought. Everyone is having fun and... You're welcome, little dudes! <laughs> Party on! Party on! <sighs> no more bus squad juicy. Hey, if the party animal's still rocking, then this party ain't stopping. Just look at him go! <laughs> Hey! No! No more! Ah! Oh. Party on, Squirt! Party on! I take back what I said about being able to party all night long. Time for a party pick-me-up! Ah! Not as bad as it looks. Maybe those sunny smallers want to dance until they all puke uncontrollably. That's the stuff! You dudes and dudettes have enough party spirit to keep me going forever! <laughs> <laughs> Party animal, he'll make us all party forever. Ooh, sounds like a groovy idea. Oh. Hey, 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 I got an idea. Distract him. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Ooh, do I hear Box socializing? Party animal. Total utter lameness. Hey, I have a treat for y'all. McGee's patented extra late in the party beatbox routine. Oh, yeah, boy! Wait, McGee, don't! Come on, wave your hands in the... in the air. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. You, you know go, you McGee. It. You know you want it. No! No! Too much! We did it! All thanks to your ultra-lame beatbox routine, McGee. Uh, yeah. That was the plan. I wasn't trying to start an epic beatbox off that would have gone down in party history forever. 
Nope. <laughs> oh, Sawyer? The party animal? <gasps> oh. Thanks, campers. You know, for some strange reason, I always seem to fall apart every disco ball moon. Weird, huh? Yes, of uh -huh. course. Oh, weird. Yeah. And my thumb always kind of hurts, too. Owie. And another classic Sunny Smiles box social comes to an end. Get him out of here! <laughs> Gas here at Camp Lake Bottom. <laughs> oh, even my blisters have blisters. Gretch, can we stop for a quick snack break, please? Sure. Try my hike trail mix. It's mostly dried nuts and some dried nut shells. It's high in hike protein. <laughs> Oh, you can really taste the protein. You want some, Squid? <laughs> no, thanks. I brought my own. You can really taste the protein. Yeah, time to get a move on. Squirt, the mute ape stays here. Mr. Elephant! Okay. Poor guy. Probably needs some energy. Oh, really, Gretch? Hasn't that elephant suffered enough? <gasps> <gasps> A real life circus elephant. Can this day get any better? <laughs> A real live circus elephant with an epic talent for farting? Awesome! Me and this farting elephant were made for each other. Hey, keep your trunk to yourself. Nope. Gretch, it likes Gretch instead of me? Huh. It must have gotten knocked in the head from the crash. Ah, uh, still no. If there's anyone who's supposed to be friend of farting circus elephant, it's me. So let... <laughs> <laughs> He's called Floppy. What a great showbiz name. Shouldn't we at least try to find Floppy's owner? I guess so. But I can't stand to think of this majestic beast being forced to perform in a circus. <gasps> oh. <laughs> What's that strange sound coming out of Gretchen's face? No one ever finds out about the delightful giggling. Look at me. <laughs> We should probably take him back to Lake Bottom, where it's safe. Ah! <laughs> well, you know, safe is a relative term. Lima bean casserole had enough bean boost to get airborne. <laughs> One flying zombie coming up. Ah, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I called some contacts from my old carny days, but no one's heard of any missing elephant. Two shaved orangutans and a bearded lady, but no elephant. I know how to cook the elephant, not how to feed them. We could save a lot of effort if I fix us all a nice plate of the tank schnitzel. <sighs> save yourself, Floppy. <sighs> Run like the wind that you constantly pass. <gasps> No one is claiming Floppy, so that means we can keep him? Yes! <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> you know, whatevs. There's no greater love than between an elephant and the one who cleans up after it. Um, I, I think you're gonna need a bigger shovel. Floppy, it's all set. I got you a new identity and safe passage out of here. We gotta go now. Huh? <laughs> okay, maybe just one more night. Floppy, commence mission.
Mädchen, komm! Camp Lake Bottom has such bad reception for evil schemes. I still do not get how a farting elephant isn't my bestie. Good news! I found another way to get you out of here. Operational pachyderm, otherwise known as floppy. Um, wouldn't that just spell fop, not floppy? You okay? So the name's not great. You try finding the perfect handle for a farting elephant. Are you kidding me? There's Toots Magoots, uh, Baron Butt Burper, Captain Colon, Trunk Funk. Enough! I get it. Besides, it's time to explain my evil scheme. After staging a fake circus truck crash, I planted my farting warrior elephant for you to discover and fall in love with. Oh, so that's why I'm not Floppy's favorite. I knew it. Evil scheme animals are never my besties. Floppy? Is what he's saying true? This was all an evil scheme? <laughs> with Floppy by my side, I've already taken over. Lake Bottom! You'll never get away with this! Wrong! Clowns plan out every little detail! You should have seen my intense fart animal warrior training! <laughs> Finally, I'd found Floppy, the perfect pachyderm weapon. Too bad he's too dumb to perfect the ultimate secret fart command. Don't you ever call Floppy dumb! <laughs> Point. That elephant made a total moron out of me. I should have never trusted a farting elephant. <laughs> Time for your grand finale! Hey, Gretch, heads up! <laughs> well, now you know how I feel! Hey, enough clowning around! And I don't mean that in a clown positive way. Get rid of these campers! Now! Ha <laughs> ha! Nice one, do 
fell for my non-evil scheme. <gasps> the collar! No! I've been clowned. But how could you stand the deadly stench of the destructo part? All I smell is sweet friendship. Friendship? Hmm, I never planned for that little detail. Oh, well, I guess you never send in an elephant to do a clown's funny business. <laughs> <laughs> Control. Free as a bird, Floppy! Free as a bird! <laughs> wow, that is one literal elephant. The secret ultimate fort command! Though he could do it all along! I just meant that he should run away. <laughs> oh, I love you, you big stinky intestinal gas! to have our Big Lake Bottom Harvest Feast. Just don't ask what's on the menu. Mm -mm, I love this time of the summer. Harvest pie! Fresh out of the oven! Oh! <laughs> time to get our whipped scream on! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I just love everything about Lake Bottom Harvest. Come on, guys, you know Lake Bottom Harvest is just an excuse to hunt down the harmless, innocent, and adorable, in an ugly sort of way, Turkey Saurus Rex. I don't call a giant mutated turkey harmless. I can't help it, Grinch. It's also dangerously delicious. <laughs> Easy, boy. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> I simply cannot pick up any Turkeysaurus Rex scent. Hmm, I got just the doodad. <gasps> uh, Armand, you do know that was my handy dandy, almost identical to a real Turkeysaurus Rex call, don't you? <laughs> Necessary canceling Lake Bottom Harvest just because there's no Turkey Saurus Rex? McGee, you can't go against Harvest tradition. <laughs> oh, really? And what are you moaning about? I thought you hated Harvest. Hey, I like everything except for the Turkey Saurus eating. I even made a tofu Turkey Saurus. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, campers. I've been racking my brain trying to figure out how to get a turkey Saurus Rex. If only we had one, Lake Bottom Harvest would be back on. Oh, well. Hmm. No. Yes. No. Yes. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Not that. That. Not that. That. <laughs> All right. Now, remember, guys, we got to think of the biggest, juiciest turkey sources ever. Easy. Not going on any interdimensional turkey source Rex hunt. We'll go to the potato dimension after. Hmm. Fine. Shh, <gasps> 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 hear that? <gasps> False alarm! It's just my stomach. <laughs> Is this really necessary? Canceling giblet bottom harvest just because there's no humans to eat? <gasps> Those are the biggest and juiciest turkey sauruses ever! <laughs> humans? Are they really humans? We haven't had a roast human harvest dinner in years! Yes! It's a Camp Giblet bottom miracle! <laughs> a stunt to human stuffing! <laughs> you guys get him! <laughs> any human hunt. I still might be able to save the tofu human from the fire! Run! <laughs> See you later, talking turkey sauruses! <laughs> <laughs> no! 
Oh, we've got you. Oh, I'm so glad I installed a remote for this baby. Now let's deep fry their human skin. Harvest time is so such fun. fun. Willing humans in a bun. Catch their drippings in a tub. Cook their kidneys in a Huh? I don't remember the harvest song going like that. I always thought it was turkey sources are delicious. Crack your pelvis to make some wishes. <laughs> Why was I off? You know, I personally can't believe how brutal these turkey saurus uses are. Imagine eating humans. Are you kidding me? McGee, this is the exact same thing you wanted to do to innocent turkey sauruses. Nope, totally not seeing your point. Uh, even Plumpers and I remembered! <laughs> you need fattening up. <laughs> She's ought to do the trick! Lucky for you, I don't eat humans. I'm a Turkeysaurus vegetarian. Yes! Put it there, Turkey sister! <laughs> I never said it was easy being a turkey saurus vegetarian. Have you tasted human lately? Oh, it's a delightful flavor sensation. The giblet bottom portal. As promised, whatever you do, don't come back. Now there's just one more thing. Okay, I'm done. Bye. Bye. Hope to see you never! Ah! Oh, I'm also so glad I installed a decoy portal on this baby. Giblet bottom harvest is saved! <laughs> now let's get these humans back to the kitchen! <laughs> Where do you think you're gobbling? <laughs> for the crime of trying to free our harvest meal, you will be cooked for the feast! As well! Oh, I've always wanted to try vegetarian turkey saurus. Oh, wait! This is not what the harvest is all about! You forgot the true meaning of harvest. It's not just about stuffing your ugly beaks. Well, if you're so smart, why don't you tell us what the harvest is about? Hey! What if we show you the real meaning of harvest instead? After the harvest pageant I'll put on, oh, you'll never want to eat us again. <sighs> You're all right, turkey sore squirt. You're all right, buddy. I hope you know what you're doing, McGee, because none of this stuff in your harvest pageant ever actually happened. Gretchen. <laughs> This is exactly how the first harvest went down. I got it off the internet. So it's got to be true? Besides, who's the director here? Archisaurus! <laughs> <laughs> uh... And that's why we have whipped scream at the harvest meal to battle the harvest zombie. Silly human, prepare to be eaten. You waste bones. Now that's historic. No, no, this is offensive. To all turkey sources. Even I think this is going too far. We're losing the crowd. But I know just the way to get them back. Curtains! It's time for harvest to begin. You don't have to eat our skin. Join us in. Some official Mickey Pageant apparel. Oh. 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 Happy Giblet Bottom Harvest! Happy Giblet Bottom Harvest, everyone! Oh. The humans are right. We did 
did forget the true meaning of harvest. It is time of thanks and peace. Well, that's settled. Let's see! So a harvest pageant didn't change their minds. I guess it's time to go to Plan C. Plan C for cranberry sauce. Come on, guys. Time to side dish it out. in Giblet Bottom, not until after harvest. Oh, they try eating me every year. After one little nibble, they usually just give up. <laughs> See? Turkey Saurus incoming! We gotta go. Happy harvest, Turkey Sauruses! Do not invite us next year! <laughs> uh, guys, we still don't have a Turkey Saurus for harvest dinner. Are you didn't you learn anything? Sure. I learned that gravy is very handy for sticky situations. <laughs> oh, he must be from the potato dimension. <laughs> uh, we could sure use some of that gravy now. McGee, concentrate! Concentrate, schmontentrate, Armand. Check out the technique I've been working on. My behind the back under the crotch nostril grip shot. <laughs> ah, not my fault. Is it? Get a ruin me! Santa! Oh, police squirt. We all know there's no Santa, especially not one wearing a tacky Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> That's how all the holiday characters dress on summer vacation. It's hip. Aha. Uh -huh. This is what brought her down, all right. What? That could be anyone's arrow. <laughs> Please tell me you can fix this sleigh, Sawyer. You gotta get it working so that Aunt say can get out of here. <gasps> you want Santa to get out of here? You monster! There is no Santa. Mm -hmm. ah! Uh, McGee, what's the deal? Uh... <laughs> oh, I hope it's that book I asked Santa for. One hundred and one dangerous trick archery shots for beginners. <laughs> what? Huh? Underwear? Oh, you did not, Santa. Oh, 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 no, you did not. Oh, Dear Santa Clueless, your gift is the lamest. Do not come down my chimney ever again. I never want to hear you ho-ho-hoing in my house. Get stuffed, Santa Clueless! Your friend, McGee. <gasps> I know. And ever since I wrote that letter, I've been trying to lay low and nice myself off the naughty list. But when Santa recognizes me, I'll be lucky if I get coal underwear forever! We need to get him back to the North Pole before that happens. <laughs> Niggy's the name! Here for another tinsotastic summer at Old Camp Jingle Bottom! The Santa in training wonderland where sugar plums grow and presents fall from the sky! Ho oh, hey, hi! Hi ho oh, hey! I love Camp Jingle Bottom each and every day! Jingle Bottom, Jingle Bottom, Jingle Bottom! <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. I don't remember my lungs feeling so leathery. Oh, well! Hmm, whoever that guy is... Santa? ...must have amnesia. He thinks Camp Lake Bottom is Camp Jingle Bottom, and he doesn't remember his real identity at all. Whatever that is. Santa? Santa Claus? Santa. Guys, do you know what this means? I'm saved by amnesia! Now I don't have to resort to Plan B. Ah! If Santa has amnesia, how will kids ever get presents again? <laughs> Relax, Squirt. 
His memory will come back. <clears throat> One day. But for now, we'll just make him think he's actually in Camp Jingle Bottom, okay? Until we figure out a way to get him out of here. I don't think this is tinsel! Okay, so it may take a while. Yeah. Yeah. We have a big red sighting. Over. Hoo hey, hi! Hi, hoo hey! Hello, Camp Jingle Bottom each and every day! Hey, Nikki! Once your training's done and you're a real Santa, just remember to never stay mad at any dumb kids that send you nasty letters, okay? I oh, oh. Uh, do we have a deal? <gasps> no, uh, Nikki, I'm not the sugar plum stream! <laughs> it's even more cavity forming than last summer! <laughs> <gasps> uh, guys, we need something the frog will find more delicious than Nikki. I bet none of you packed s'more supplies. <laughs> Finally, the Jingle Bell Latrine! I've missed your festive flashy. Oh, come on! That is not a thing! Oh, Santa! Fancy meeting you in here. Now, about those tap lessons I asked for when I was a pup squatch. <laughs> <laughs> All clear, Nikki. He's from the camp across the lake. Camp Evil Elf. Yes, that is the camp's very believable name. Okay, I've had it, McGee. I can't keep up with this Santa charade a minute longer. We are figuring out a way to get Nikki's memory back right now. Maybe you're right, Gretch. Who knew being jolly was so dangerous? Hey, everybody! Who wants a kiss under the mistletoe? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's enough mistletoe for one day, Nikki. Co Rudolph Poop. Santa on target. Santa! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ho, ho, ho! Hello, boys and girls. I'm Santa. No! Come along now. Ho, ho, ho! North Pole, uh, we have a problem. Ho, ho, ho! Here we go. Oh. Hey, where'd Santa go? That was weird. <sighs> okay, campers, this memory resorter ought to resort old Sandy's memories. Uh... <laughs> Who here knows all 567 verses of Jingle Bells? Guess what? I do! Hmm, maybe we should increase the volts. <laughs> I smell chestnuts roasting. Mm -hmm. Figures. Santa can't even resort his memory right. Oh, typical Santa clueless. Mm. Yes. McGee, you've been naughty. Me and Squirt ever sent Santa any mean letters. Gretchen Gritcherson, isn't it? The girl who doesn't believe in Santa? <laughs> <laughs> now we can all run. run! I still love you, Santa. Oh, fiddlesticks. I had this silly thing set to revenge again. <laughs> Uncrusher! Unpulverizer! Those are not reindeer names. <gasps> presents! Oh, I want presents too. Presents! <laughs> <laughs> Naughty kids always fall for that. Never fails. Santa's sleigh is the naughtiest thing you could ever do! Ho, ho, no! Stop it! Nuh-uh, Santa. Not until you come back to your jolly old senses! You're gonna pay for that naughty!
dirty letter, McGee! And you, Squirt! You are the sweetest child I have ever met! Oh! You noticed! I don't trust that goody-goody act at all! My elf researchers at the Naughty Center will figure out what makes you tick! And you, Gretchen! Hey, hey, hey easy, Big Red! I'll have you ho-ho-ho in no time! This guy is, right? Okay, yeah, I'm still not convinced. This is not an elf. He's just short. And that, that was not a reindeer-driven sleigh. It was, it was, oh, forget it. I love you, Santa. I believe. Come back. Hey, Santa must have forgot about my naughty letter. I'm in the clear. Ow, ow, ow. Ah, what a glorious day. We learned about forgiveness, the importance of coal, and how to truly believe in the one and only Santa Claus. What else does this thingy do? Hey, hey be careful with that. Dear Mom, it's the last week of camp, but I don't think anyone's coming back next summer. No, no, no! It's my last week of camp alarm! Do you know what this means? <gasps> last week of camp? No! No, no, it can't be! Last week of camp! No! Uh, last week of camp! I'll miss you, like Icky Gloomy! I'll miss you, old Toothy! Last week of camp! Oh, Mount Sintablow! I'll miss you, searing hot, molten lava! Last week of camp! <laughs> I'll miss you guys most of all. Aw, Squirt. I'll miss you too, buddy. But pull yourself together. You know I can't stand all that mushy stuff. <laughs> Campers, I know it's the last week of camp, but don't get all gloomy and doomy. There's always next summer and the summer 300 years from now. <laughs> Right. I always forget how short your human lifespans can be. Cheer up! Just because you're gonna die eventually doesn't mean we can't have plenty of fun before the farewell bonfire at the end of the week! Oh. Oh. Holy zombie guacamole! It says here that we're getting two new campers for the last week of camp? What? Noobs? No way! Not for the last week of camp. That's the most emotional week of camp there is. There will be ugly crying. Lots of it. And how can we concentrate on the new campers when our minds are already on the post-camp vacay? <gasps> Relax, guys. We can lend a hand. Us campers know the lake bottom ins and outs so well. I mean, we're practically staff, and I... <gasps> Sawyer, that's it! You make us staff in training. All right, campers. Um, I mean, staff in training. You got a deal. Yeah! First staff in training lesson, the art of camper debussing. I remember my first bus trip. It's when me and Barfy became best buds. Hey, buddy. Time is home. I have the witch in here. I don't like the smell of Sasquatch fur. Wah, wah, wah! <laughs> New record. 
the key to camper cooking is knowing the perfect spice to add just by sniffing. I was just going to add some salt, but that might give us stew some nice earth tones. Nice work, Cadiddles. Hey, Sawyer, I think I'm getting the hang of this caretaker thing. Nice work, Gretch. But can I have my arm back now? Kinda need it. Especially the plunger attachment. Oh, I can't believe this is our fifth to last lunch. Oh, I'm gonna miss this. I... Oh! 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 <sighs> You know what I mean. McGee's right. I'm going to miss everything we've done this summer. <sighs> oh, I'm going to miss it terribly. Oh, so many memories. Huh? Ew, this place stinks. I would know. That bus ride from Sunny Smiles made me motion sick. No way. <laughs> Our new Lake Bottom campers are Sunny Smilers? Welcome to Lake Bottom. Ah! No, 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 wait! Don't run! It only makes them friendlier! Come back! <laughs> oh, <laughs> ah, help! Help! Uh, um, cancel that help request. Oh, easy, guys. Stop! Stay back. This is Pud Squad approved bottom smeller repellent. Keep away, bottom smellers! This message is approved by Pud Squad. You know the repellent is in repel... Uh, rep uh, uh, it's not making things go away. Okay, let's try this Welcome to Camp Lake Bottom again. I'm McGee, this is Gretchen, and the monsters you see behind you are our counselors. The name's Sawyer. Welcome to Lake Bottom. Uh, 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 and I'm, I'm Portnoy. Ah! Don't worry, happens all the time. I am Armand. I dabble a bit in hairstyling. You must tell me how you get such wonderful curls. Thanks, it's a patented line of family products. I'm Sasha Smithywicks. Smithywicks? The same makers of Beaver Delectable Hair Products? Yes, of course. I use them all the time! Oh, so luxurious! Someone noticed! Let me get this straight. The diva of Diva Delectable got kicked out of Snooty Sunny Smiles? Yeah, well, it was kind of my fault. Uh, I got kicked out for not having my own platinum credit card. <laughs> and I got yeah. kicked out for not making fun of him for not having his own platinum credit card loud enough. So Butt Squad dumped us both here. Hmm. How are we supposed to believe anything Sunny Smilers say? I'll, uh, I'll prove it. Gold card, silver card, diamond card. No platinum card. I guess it all checks out. Anyway, we're here to make your Lake Bottom experience the most awesome experience of your lives. And more than just nuclear farts and exploding zombies, you know. Ah! Um, you know, most days. Now. As your very own Lake Bottom staff in training, we're here to show you the ropes. See? Easy peasy. Okay. Uh, is this how you hold the ropes? Portnoy, those aren't the ropes. Those are the mutant maggots. Ah! 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 Oh, how I miss the screams of discovering your first mutant maggot. Ooh, and the smell of that new pee in your pants, fear. I know this goes against our staff and training training, McGee. Who cares if they ever get the hang of Lake Bottom? Camp's already almost over. Come on, Gretch. Sure, they still have that Sunny Smiler non-stank on them. But give the noobs a chance, all right? Fine. All right, noobs. Lake Bottom is full of dangers, and a bottom dweller always needs to be prepared. You never know when a bear varine may pounce. Be able to do that. Based on this martial arts website, anyone could do it if they start slow enough. See? Okay, let's see. Rising Sun Crow snatches the fly. Ah, uh, well, it's a start. Mm, nothing like a lake bottom lunch. Phew, Butt Squad was wrong about the disgusting stuff bottom smellers eat. This looks like actual pasta. 
Yeah, I, I only eat because of my biological need for sustenance. You see, with my perpetual sinus condition, I haven't got a sense of smell or a sense of taste for that matter. You definitely have no sense of taste. That shirt is dreadful. So, you kidlets like my special vermaghetti? So wriggly in the tummy, yes? <laughs> I remember freeing my first belly worms. <laughs> The last bonfire of the summer. You know, something special always happens at the last bonfire of the summer. Ah, uh, sorry, McGee. So, what were you babbling about? Ah, so romantic. And then, Buford Lake Bottom built his very own camp atop a haunted Ooh. cemetery. Over the centuries, bottom dwellers had to defend the camp from Butt Squat's ancestors. A special contest was created to pit the skills of those who wanted to take Lake Bottom against those who belong at Lake Bottom. The Camp Lake Bottom Classic was born! Ooh. Oh, 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 wow. Its challenging events rely on pure Lake Bottom know-how. Don't worry, you'll never... Yeah, nice one, Sawyer, the old disappearing zombie caretaker bit. Okay. Whoa. Ah! You have 30 seconds to vacate my property. <laughs> so many memories gone. Oh, God. <laughs> Take over Camp Lake Bottom? Easy. With this. The Camp Lake Bottom deed. How did you get that? My genius scheming, obviously. That and nobody was looking when I took it. Well, it'll take more than a moldy old deed to stop us. Armand! Sick! Unhand my butt dozer, or the zombie caretaker gets spritzed. He means it, campers! Sawyer? According to my uh, internet search, uh, Sawyer's essence is actually part of Camp Lake Bottom, which means it legally belongs to uh, uh, Butt Squat, too. Now get off my property! Huh? Campers! You can get the camp back! Defeat Butt Squat at the Camp Lake Bottom Classic! <laughs> Previously on Camp Lake Bottom, it says here that we're getting two new campers for the last week of camp? Our new Lake Bottom campers are Sunny Smilers? I... Yeah. How'd I finally take over Camp Lake Bottom? The Camp Lake Bottom deed. <laughs> Dear Mom, here at the last week of Lake Bottom, no matter what happens, this was the best summer ever. Now get off my property. to the Lake Bottom Classic. What happens if I don't accept the challenge, huh? Ah, I humbly accept the challenge. Uh, wait, let me be on your team. I'm no bottom smeller. I'm a sunny smiler. Ew, bottom smeller stank. Blah. <laughs> I knew she still had way too much sunny smiler in her. Oh! Wait, Rich! She does have the lake bottom stink! That means Sash is one of us? Even if she doesn't know it yet! And I'm not leaving one of us behind! All right! But she better prove she's a real bottom dweller! I can try! Well, it's a start! Are you sure about this, McGee? Remember what Sawyer said, Gretch? The classic is all about pure late bottom skills. We got this. And that's one. Let the late bottom classic begin. Okay. True bottom dweller heart is the key. Of five events, the winner needs three. 
Oh, man, what's with the rhymes? Event one. Oldest grave must be found. Then race to finish before tags from underground. Cratch, don't you think that Sasha would be better at this event? Seems like she'd flee from graveyard maggots with way more terror than you. I don't trust her, McGee. Besides, she's still trying to make amends for her anti-lake bottom treachery. To be a real bottom dweller, you have to help with the harvest. Now fetch! <laughs> nice work. These are good and juicy. No, Gretch, that's not the oldest grave. That one is. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't thumbs up me. Thumbs up Ulysses H. Hemroiders. <laughs> Never say their names. So that's what they meant by getting tagged from underground. <laughs> okay, Nuka Diddle, you have to eat my cooking. Please, no, 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 please, no, 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 no. Slide on a wave of lake bottom goo. First to lake icky gloomy will certainly do. That stank would make most campers pass out. I totally got this. With my sinus condition, I can't smell a thing. No, Portnoy! I need more thrust. Come on, Portnoy. Think like a bottom dweller at... Win ever. The crown will be mine! Uh uh, you already had a turn. It says right here only one event per bottom smeller. <laughs> no way! You are not doing this event. It's Taco's big chance. Hey, how you doing? You are doing this event. There, there, buddy. You'll get your chance one day. Come on, then, ex Sunny Smiler. Let's see how spectacular you are. At least I have my Diva Delectable. Oh, Sasha! Think like a bottom dweller! Rising Sun Crow snatches the fly. Wow, my slow motion kung fu worked. <laughs> All right, Sasha! So, you want to play rough, huh? <laughs> Taken down by my own hairspray. That is so the opposite of spectacular. Wait, Toads win! I'm sorry, Gretch. I I tried to think like a real bottom dweller. Decrowning Susie is nearly impossible. Trust me, I know. And that's how you win a Lake Bottom Classic Eating Contest. The final event. The quest is sure to be a drag if he returns without the flag. Blah, blah, don't get lost in the portal dimension. Whatever, whatever, pay attention. Let me see that. Yeah, it's a game of capture the flag. It says here I have to capture the Sunny Smiles flag, and Buttsnot has to capture the Lake Bottom flag. All right, so we portal. The first one back here with the flag wins it all, McBottom Smeller. <laughs> it all comes down to this, our last chance. You can do this, McGee. We believe in you. It's all on you, McGee. Now win the Lake Bottom Classic so we can get Sawyer and our cat back. No pressure. Okay, focus, McGee. I won't be beaten by Butt Squat. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Butt Squat, Bottom McGee. I, I hope, hope you enjoy, enjoy your, your stay. <laughs> hey, quit, quit copying, copying me. me. I said quit copying me. Ah! I'm stuck in a Butt Squat. Sounds bad in more ways than one. A butt squat filled dimension? Sounds perfect. Oh no. The key must have thought about butt squat before going into the portal. We gotta help him. Whoa! <laughs> Too bad McGee will waste his time in there. Because I already have the lake bottom flag from this dimension. So, I guess the lake bottom classic is officially done so. Aww. 
sorry, but Squat, the Camp Lake Bottom Classic is still on. <laughs> I brought spares. <laughs> Guys, we're here to rescue you uh, and your poor wedgie butt. <laughs> oh, 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 someone must have dropped a butt quarter. Oh, my. Lucky me. Get him with extreme wedgies. <laughs> no, it can't feel a thing. You see, all those many, many years of being wedgie built up an immunity in my, uh, uh underwear area. Total underwear of immunity. Looks like the waistbands have turned, butt squats. Who wedgie revenge? <gasps> We're bottom dwellers are always prepared. How'd you override my robot wedgie protocol? I had military satellites for fun. No, you don't have to do this. We can make you a sunny smiler queen in our dimension. You got a deal. <gasps> Double pinky swear. Huh? <gasps> you are a true bottom dweller. No, no, please. <laughs> oh, man. <gasps> Uh, now let's get that Sunny Smiles flag and get back our lake bottom. But I don't want to go into the creepy dimension thingy to get the flag. Uh. Ha -ha! We captured the flag first. Stinky camp. Smell you later, you bunch of smelly bottom dweller smellers. Whoa! Aww. What a summer. I'm gonna miss you guys. And I was just starting to get used to the steak. Wow. I guess camp is really over. I guess I should tell you, you know, you guys are like my best friends. And I'll miss you, you know. I mean, it won't be that long, right? We'll be back here again. We'll do it again. Fare ye well, campers. I'm gonna miss this place. Yeah, except for maybe all the rashes and bee stings. <laughs> I'm going to miss you all so much! <laughs> so awkward. I, I really don't, I don't even know what to, how, what do we say to each other? Wow, and I thought I was sappy. <gasps> I'm not crying, I just have allergies. Mickey, <gasps> come get me when Mom comes. Susie, out! Um, she terrifies me. <laughs> Please don't make me go home alone with her. Dear Mom, guess what? I am so into this new video game. start when I'm in my jam jams? Last level of Alien Camp Invasion. High score, Butt Squad. That was just a video game? Wow, looks like Butt Squad's moving up in your high score battle, McGee. <laughs> He's so squatty after I nailed the ultimate high score yesterday. Ding, 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 ding. Extra point bonus! Even higher ultimate high score! Butt Squad! Aw, oh, come on! That's not fair! I think I know a way you can even the score. The high score, that is. Extreme 
Zombie Surf Apocalypse 4? Still in perfect condition. I saw it back here the last time I helped Sawyer fix his collapsed ribs. Ooh, ribs? Lips off, squirt. But I love spare ribs. <laughs> okay, it is pretty old school, but I figured if anyone can get the high score on this baby, it's you. Right, McGee? 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I've seen this before. McGee is so focused on getting the high score, he can't even speak. <laughs> or control his bodily functions. <laughs> My high score alarm went off. Ha! McGee can waste his time on that lame old game, because I own this high score contest. I like so. Ow! Dang it! I gotta get to that lame old game! Aha! Caught ya! You're not gonna out high score me without a fight! No! My Calabunga Blast bonus gone! That was my last surfer. Well, I guess it's my turn. <laughs> nuh uh, not without me or not. Game on! <sighs> Chamomily. Locally sourced, triple steep. Game back on! <laughs> What? <laughs> no! What are you two doing? No time, time. Beware. Yes. <laughs> you two have to stop. Some high scores aren't meant to be broken. Oh, great. Power failure. You two must have blown the camp generator. <laughs> ah, that's better. This fur isn't going to set and curl itself. That's it. Game over. I still smell ribs. Ugh. Lake Bottom is way more ultra lameoid than I even thought. I don't think we're in Lake Bottom anymore. Come on, Butt Squad, we gotta split! Relax, McGee. You just gotta know how to talk to the locals. Like so. Could you direct me to the rich part of the endless grid? <laughs> Oops. My dad will totally pay for that. Don't you see, Butt Spaz? It's just like the game! <laughs> This is how you do it, Butt Squad. Check it! Double points! In your face, McGee! Triple points! Hey, Butt Squad, I think we should stop zombie smashing for a minute and just reflect on the enormity of actually being inside a video game. Yeah. <gasps> Five times ultra bonus point zombie power apple! Totally called that zombie power apple first! Like I was gonna let you get the endless grid of doom high score! In your dreams! As if! Oh, seriously? Uh... Oh, it won't start! Ugh. We need to get that game running! Ugh. Or who knows what's gonna happen to McGee! But what if McGee never comes back? Who I swap undies with on undie trading day? Who? <gasps> what are you staring at, Squirt? Nothing, Grinch. You know, we really should get to know each other better. This is Extra Dream Zombie Surf Apocalypse 4. I am 1011101. But you can call me 1011001. I am programmed to protect the high score. All who ch 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 challenge the high score are digitized. Now let me introduce our first high score challenger. Sawyer, I did try to warn you, campers. Oh, why do 
I get the feeling this is kind of my fault? Oh, yeah, kind of totally your fault. Anyway, a program is a program. Easy, Gretch. Easy. Gretch? Gretch? Huh? You say something, Squirt? Now that's more like it. How are we supposed to get to know each other better with all that noise? Squirt, why don't we reconnect after I reconnect the power? Yes, now it's time for some Squirt Gretch quality reconnecting. <laughs> so, you do or don't want to swap undies then? Can you make up your mind, Gretch? Your hands will be severed momentarily while we wait. Would you mind telling me what's been happening the last 30 years? Is this still a thing? Radical! Butt squat! Kick me right in the butt! Come on! What a beautiful moment! <laughs> hey -ya! Use your head! Yeah. Ah. McGee! Hands! Er, uh, heads up! Yeah, right! So he can get the all time zombie hand catching high score? Huh? What's what? What's what? No! <laughs> Just when I was starting to like that guy! <laughs> <laughs> Emotions, <laughs> McGee? You'll never get the high score with those things. What squat? But how? Obviously, my mad video game skills scored me an extra life. A uh, duh. <gasps> <laughs> Surf is up! Hmm. Let's show him a real high score. <laughs> You can outscore me! I was programmed to never lose! Game over! Ding da da ding ding ding! But how do we get out of here? You guys, this way! Tastes terrible. You guys, you saved us. But how? Well, first we got the power back on. Oh, the things I go through for my Sasquatch beauty regimen. And let's just say I even the score with this. Yeah. As far as besties go, Gretchen gets the high score. High score? All who challenge the high score are. Digital! She has the new high score? Nah, uh uh. Not if I can help it. <gasps> Campers, wait up! You're my new bestie now, Rib. Such a delicious friend. <laughs>